Players, what? by the way, I love you, but this is definitely the worst resume we've screened so far. It is complete ass. Just to give you a benchmark, it is horrible. Jesus Christ, Ethan, calm down, dude. <laughs>
But like now I'm going to have to go down and see, can the person program? And what's interesting, again, is the cognitive dissonance. Everything about they now say they're doing is technical. So, you know, but um, anyway, I don't want to distract you from the objective. So you go back to that. No, no, no. It's, it's, this, is, this is why I love this stream is because that is the big brain, big business, big everything thing. For me, I'm thinking if this person wants an internship in my small company, how passionate are they about this and how much do they want to learn? I don't put a lot of stock into the previous amount of work that they have in computer science because I already feel like they don't have any work in computer science. That's what they want, want to do an internship, right? They're, get, they're doing an internship because they want to learn. So I put more value on how passionate are you? How driven are you? What are you going to accomplish in this internship? And why do you want to learn this? That, 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 that's why yeah, I think So let I, me give you a contrast. Yeah. Mm. We hire 3,000 interns a year. You're fucking Amazon. I know that's no, what they no, were well, that's why, but, but I'm trying to give you a contrast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, by the way, we yeah. hire uh, yeah. few, few, few to none of them will speak to a human. Really? So they will, they will be hired Ever? by going through an algorithm. And then they'll be placed. They'll, they'll like eventually talk to a recruiter. Yeah. But the decision will be made by having them take online tests. And when I have the head of Amazon recruiting on on, on my show in a few weeks... He can talk about our process, but most of the people will be sent a link to take an online evaluation and then they'll be given an offer or not. And they'll be placed Jesus. with a team. With interns, we don't let them say what they want to do. You get an Amazon internship and you work in the team we tell you. And if you don't like that, that's okay because we don't have time to like invest matching you with a team. And so the point at this level, and I'm just putting on the Amazon lens to contrast with yours, very big business versus very small business, all I need to know if I'm the recruiter is, oh, okay, CS candidate, put it in the CS hopper. And so the objective accomplishes that much. Now for a small company, you would have to customize this and Absolutely. say something more. Yes, this but is for good, us, this is value. This yeah. puts you in, in the right bucket and so you got into the right bucket. And so now it's, can you do the thing? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so his professional experience is he's a founder and CTO of a company that he made up. Yeah. So I don't know, I, I, so that for me, just like will always trigger a little bit of a red flag. If you're like self-employed and you've like, you're like a C level executive of your own thing, I always a little bit weird. Um, this doesn't make like this is like read. Take a second and read the first bullet completely. Yeah, because it's so Cre like super ironic for this stream. In what way? Create a web application to automate manual resume review. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by using statistical algorithms to help recruiters identify the strongest candidates within large applicant pools. Nice so, memes, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm totally right. wondering like, <laughs> was this resume written to troll us now? But, uh, uh, possibly, but probably not. I mean, it doesn't uh, say written in 4chan, yeah. which would have been like the big giveaway. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah. <laughs> but Ruby on Rails is almost 4chan. Now, um, he does say that he was acquired um, and that he received multiple corporate clients and VC funding. So all yeah, that's pretty that, cool. That, yeah. So I wish... I realize this has been anonymized. I wish there was a little more mm -hmm. numeric or specific about it. Yeah. I wish there was something that told me like deployed to 12 companies or to 2000 companies processed 87,362 resumes. Yeah. In 2018. Exactly. Yeah. Something that would make that is believe super valuable. We need um, the reason why Ethan and I are, are kind of floundered on this is because we really have no data like, um, it sounds cool to create a web we have, application. We have a lot of happy words, but no numbers. Yeah, it, it sounds cool to create a, a web application to automate manual resume review, but how many resumes did you do? Why was it important? Like, what kind of algorithm was it? Like, what, um, what, who were the recruiters you were helping in? What industry? It says large applicant pools. How large, right? Like, um, that there, there's an opportunity that, like, he knows how large it is. We don't. Right. Was it 50,000? Yeah, yeah, that, was it 500,000? Right that yeah. large applicant mm -hmm. pool. What is large? How many was large? Yeah. Where did you do it? Yep. Um, and I get that the people who I do, uh, uh, yeah, happy words instead of power words. That's exactly right uh, in chat. Um, so uh, there yeah, are some I good things to, here, though, just right? To open, like, uh, hang on, sorry. It's just the way I'm doing this is kind of janky. Yeah. Sorry. All right. There we go. All right. 
All right, so yeah. what I like about it is like bolding the tech words, make them pop out. If you don't have a skills list, now at least like, as, since it's a CS application and the degree is not in CS, now I see like, oh, Ruby on Rails, Python, JavaScript. The first three are, are comparatively lightweight languages, right? They're like uh, front end scripting languages. Yeah. Not mm. usually used for heavy, heavy, the shit he knows. I'm, heavy I'm duty like, building. Like... <laughs> um, and so, uh, I'm skeptical when you uh, deployed the app using Docker and Amazon Web Services, a little more technical. What's not coming through in that, in the work, is true computer science level education and familiarity. This is like I'm a, I'm a web dev, um, which could be true. So then we go down to project statistical standard report with GUI. I'm not even there yet, dude. I'm, no, no, I'm I, still mad. Acquired in, acquired Acquired how much? So the interesting what was the thing, valuation this is a of your good company. point, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. If we no longer hire manually, but if we did, I've long ago made a decision to either phone screen or not on this. Like, it got 30 seconds. Oh, sure. Or, yeah, or yeah. 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, if you give this your 15-second view, does it go into the call or not call pod? Not, I would not call this person. Um, yeah. So It's too general. I don't know what they did. I mean, it, it, it could be, uh, you could replace this with a, a, a million different resumes. I'd just be like, eh. Yeah, so it probably goes in my not call pile either. And the reason is um, there's nothing on here that looks technically hard. And um, the reason you fail on that where you didn't have to is you didn't give me a sense of scale. If that first bullet talked numbers about number of companies Yep. Applicant pools, and importantly, I would have you too. The, the other first thing bullet you, is what got me. That's the other yeah. thing that screwed you. There's no impact result. In other words, if you had a bullet in there that said Acme Inc., even though you've made it general, uh, if it said Acme Inc. saw a 37% increase in applicant success and a 12% decrease in processing time, yep. you're hired. Mm hmm. As it is, I got nothing. It's just a bunch of fluffy stuff about what you did and nothing about the impact. Yep. And so, uh, flip, you have my resume in the other window, right? Yep. Um, uh, so, by the way, I'm not putting forward my resume as like God's gift to resumes. I wrote it, it in 90 minutes. It is God's gift to resumes. But <laughs> you see impact in here. Um, and so, uh, the biggest examples I would give of impact coming to EVP of Twitch Commerce, where uh, on here um, I said I grew the products from 80 million in 2015 to more than undisclosed because I can't share the number today, including two sequential years of accelerating 100% growth. There's a lot packed in there, but getting 100% year over year revenue growth is incredibly hard. And anybody who's hiring for an executive that's is going to sit insane. up and take notice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's insane. And so there's there's impact numbers in here, um, and uh, you always want that hardline impact. And so any place you can, like uh, I'll start highlighting here, but like grew from zero to eight hundred. That's a change that happened. Offices in India and China. That's a change that happened. Launch this product global expansion of this product, um, Christmas morning usage spikes of 100% or 100x normal traffic. Um, what I'm banging away on there is result, 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 and the resume is already in Discord. Uh, exclamation mark Discord, it's in the sub chat. Yeah. And you're a sub, so yeah, yeah go check it out. Um, yep, cool, all right. Um, so we can bounce back. So the other yeah. guy, unfortunately, Space Slob or whatever it was, Space Sloth, sorry, no insult, man. Um, uh, you know, uh, you have the potential, but you, you didn't bring it home. So, uh, rejected, not hired, not hired. Okay. And it's too bad. Cause the Berkeley education, like you should get hired. Like you, you know, you've got like that huge leg up. Okay. This is my boy. Yeah. My boy. Lamon. He says he's okay with um, all the information on here. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, Ramon is the dude that does our thumbnails. Paintbrush hero. He's getting special. He's he's skipping the queue because if you're on the Devin Nash team, that's the kind of benefit you get. Yeah, on he the did. He, well, yeah. he's on both teams. He's uh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he also yeah, did yeah. He the moved designs over. on the easy code. Exactly. Which, All right. Yeah. So Ramon is is the man. That said, everything I'm about to say, I hope you're still with me at the end, buddy. We're going yeah. in. <laughs> All right. The amount, Buckle up, Ramon. The amount of empty space on this first page physically offends me. Yeah. Okay. What this is a fucking font for ants, first of all. All right. It's it's literally th three point ass font. My gr I gotta put on fucking bifocals to to fucking read this. Okay. And like literally, there's sixty thousand there's sixty thousand pixels of space here. All right. That's the first. I'm literally gonna have to actually figure out how to zoom this in. To read it. Jesus. Okay. See, now, uh, you love cover letters. So you're going to have to take this one because literally really? my reaction to this is like lots of words. Where's the where's the data? Where's like, the beef? <laughs> like, I, 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 looked at, I, I looked at this. I got this. And I'm like, oh, lots of words. Next page. No. Devin Nash will take this on. Okay. Uh, you go because right. I'm already on the next page somewhere. Dear agency. Uh make it personal if you can i am interested i'm interested in obtaining a graphic design position at agency so interestingly uh, writing a formal business writing to use a contraction is taboo what, what's that i apostrophe m really yeah it's taboo you spell everything out do i not never knew that don't, cannot rather than can't this is written correctly if you're applying Depends on where you're applying. But if he's applying to Madison Avenue, like Dear Agency, do you know what Madison Avenue even means as a reference? Yeah, I know what Madison Avenue is. I'm a freaking marketer. What do you Are mean? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't know. It's I, like old yeah. school. Like it's, no, I, I totally. Yeah, Madison Avenue. Yeah, I know. In, yeah, in yeah. The, I, it, uh, it's in New York. It's, it's a, uh, he tested me on it. He didn't even believe me. No, it's I'm a, just it's trolling a, it, 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 It's the because top Because you can't actually ban me while I'm here. <laughs> I can only not bid it because you're way bigger than me. Exactly. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's... Because Devin bringing out his kung fu shit on an old guy <laughs> on screen would go very badly for him. I, that's the only way I'm actually going to get banned on Twitch. Is that the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the top advertised agencies at, uh, yeah. a, 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 on, on, in New on York. Earth. Yeah, 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 on Earth. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, There's only a few advertising agencies that really do anything. And, right. And, it's, 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 and they're it's, all it's, in Madison it's, Avenue. It's the big five, so yeah. So if he's mm -hmm. applying to Madison Avenue, and I were right, like I would, I would, I would probably make this uh, different visually, as you have said. But I would not use contraction. And I would be I, all. I literally never knew that. That's yeah. a thing I didn't know. Yeah, I, that's, I, that's, I give you the floor, sir. Well, that's correct yeah. business writing. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, Good job. Please. Okay. Um, I have grown hungry to learn from experts in the field, and have discovered that your design firm aligns with my values as a designer. Blah! I'm puking in my mouth. No, I am. Like you're, 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 you're buttering me up and not telling me anything real. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that there is. Um, I, I just don't know why. Like, like, uh, sure, that sounds good. It's like one of those things where someone like sounds like really flowery, but it doesn't like give you. I'm never getting a thumbnail again, by the way, from this dude. Like, I'm gonna have to rehire. But like, <laughs> but like, um, but yeah, yeah this yeah, is your chance. Yeah, if like, you're a thumbnail artist, apply mm, to Devin Nash now because yeah. there's a vacancy. Yeah. Suddenly. <laughs> um. This past year, I've spent my time learning the fundamentals of design and creating content for myself and clients. Again, like, um, like I just think none of this is like specific, but I don't think I'm, we're helping much no, by but, like. So like, but, I would say something like, um, uh, oh, your Devin firm's your firm's focus on thumbnail creation is a personal fascination of mine, uh, and is what and obviously like this is like I would edit this, but is what uh, caused me to take interest in this job. Yeah, so like much it's stronger. A, yeah. It's, it's specific. It, it, it's something that's like, oh, like like, oh, again, like you could write this cover letter for any agency. Which is a it, challenge. Yeah. We told people mm -hmm. be generic. So but yeah. if he was tuning it towards a specific agency, yeah. you've got to mm -hmm. say something specific about what they do. Exactly. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. you're you're literally saying like, I have a fascination with this or and I, I would saw even, your like, firm's campaign for Rolex in such and such a magazine. And I was drawn in by blah, blah, blah. And I, mm. I thought, I want to work at a place that has the creative risk-taking to whatever. Um, yeah, that is so good. Like, 
I actually like to get, since Ethan doesn't like cover letters that much, like what, I like to get super personal on my cover letters. Like, I love your firm's focus on this, right? I'm passionate about this. This is your chance to show you why you're you to them. So this is a chance for you to get super, super So this super is super granular. important. No, yeah. this is really important. Um, most people want to write the most generic thing possible ah, because mm. they're afraid to get ruled out. And in fact, yes, you're trying to get opposite. ruled in. Yes, it's the so you opposite. you want to be as specific as possible. The yeah. same thing, when I write a job description, like there's a lot of computer science people here, mm -hmm. uh, generally at, at Twitch. I, didn't, I never write like, oh, we need a rock star ninja coder with four years of C++. That tells you nothing and it's fucking everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What mm -hmm. I instead say is, do you want to make an impact on how Amazon brings uh, content to gamers? Or yes. do you want to make yeah. an impact... Um, on are, how are chat passionate? services work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are yeah. you passionate mm -hmm. about Twitch? Chat. About yeah. how uh, Twitch should serve gamers? Mm -hmm. Now, like, yes, I am. You yeah. want people saying, yes, I am. And then you say, do you have the coding skills to deal with scale spikes up to 100x normal or, you know, average load? Do you have experience in distributed systems? You say any of those things, you get people saying yes. The point is, though, I'm trying to narrow it down. Because the person who's like, no, I could give a fuck about Twitch, I don't want them. Because I want people to be able to opt into a role. Um, if you go on Amazon right now and like search for software development jobs, you'll yeah. find literally a thousand. Yeah. And if you're actually good, I want you to choose mine. And so I'm pitching mine to you by trying to get you something specific you can, you can attach to. The same is true in your resume. Remember, this agency, if they're a good agency, and hopefully, Ramon, you're not applying to a shitty agency, um, if they're good, they're getting a thousand resumes, all of which are visually beautiful, and say, I want to work there. Um, and like, so, yeah, you sorry. have to listen to this. All right. Okay. I'm this is this is what we're talking now about. Now we take an interlude. Um, this, it's, it's this kind of thing, okay? Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliant electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of prefamulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fan. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. <laughs> the main winding was of the normal lotus o deltoid type placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. This guy's awesome. Moreover, whenever <laughs> fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal depleneration. Did he say dingle? The retro calculator has now reached That's a high level of development, it, <laughs> and it's being successfully used in the operation of Milford Trenions. It's available soon, wherever Rockwell Automation products are sold. Yeah, wow. it's like, it's one of my favorite videos of all time, right? Like, the, 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 the point is like, there's, there's, you really have to be careful to actually say something with what you say. Yeah. Yeah, what, like, cause you can. And that was, actually the point was, at the very beginning, because it was so polished, Yeah. you're like, oh, interesting, I wonder what this is. Exactly, And yeah. then it takes you a minute to realize like, mm -hmm. Okay, it's nothing. Like it's yeah. a spoof. It's all bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can do that with a very polished letter. You will get someone 
presentation will get you people to read the first line, mm -hmm. but from the first line on, you have to actually earn it with the content. Exactly, yeah. Presentation mm -hmm. will get you a look, and shitty presentation will not. Yeah. But presentation is only buying you those first critical seconds, and right. then you have to have value. Like, the guy dressed up in a suit, right? He walks out, and he starts to introduce a machine, and Ethan, like, engineer, he's like, oh, what is this? What is this? Yeah. And I'm he, interested. He's and, got me. Exactly. And then and, I'm like, wait, all the words are bullshit. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then he's like, wait, like, this is, what, what the fuck is a sinusoral field, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, and then, and then like, <laughs> that's the thing, right? It's like, we got you with like the, even though I would say like, again, I would want a personal statement here of like, you're interested in obtaining a graphic design position at agency. Clearly, motherfucker, that's why you're fucking applying to my company. Now, why, right? Like, what, like... Yeah, it's okay to open yeah. with that line. Like, No, it's not. Well, I, I it's disagree. It's okay like, to say... Yeah. Again, it's framing. But I want to know why he's yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. yeah you want yeah. comma because. Yeah. Comma because. Yeah. I'm... Mm. <laughs> but you can even lead with that. Yeah. Exactly. You can, when you can I saw your XYZ, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was impressed by ABC. Yeah. And as a result, I would really like to work at your agency. Right. Yeah. That's how you mm -hmm. say what you want. That's right. right. That's right. Be and That's you right. start because yeah. look, you've written it. Here's here's the fundamental flaw, um, Ramon, is you've started with about you. And I'm the reader, I don't care about you, you're a piece of paper. But if you start telling me about me, I'm interested. Why? Because of course I'm like have a huge fucking ego. Particularly if I work on Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> tell me about shit I, about me. And so, yeah, somebody, uh, uh, Costco Pizza says, right, it's about the agency. You, you're, you're engaging them with how yes. awesome you think they are. It's not about you. Yeah. And it's here's what I could do to be less of like, uh, I am going to be less of a waste of skin and air in your building than all the other applicants because I already understand how great you are and I can contribute to your ongoing greatness. Yes. That's the message you're sending. Um, and if, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. So, okay. All right. We're, so so let's I think that's, that's good enough for this Carla, yeah. because that's all, everything that you said. Um, I'll just like quickly scan through. Uh, my goal is through providing service to further improve my processes and help build brands in line with their core values. Yeah, everything sounds generic, my dude. It's just all like... Um, and I turbo... realized he was writing a generic cover letter, so we'll give a little bit of slack there. Nope, but... I won't. Tur right. Turbo discombobulator, sinusoidal, <laughs> retroactive, dingle arm, dude. That's you right here. Fucking step it up. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Resume. All right. Uh, um, again, lots of empty space here, although he has worked for a really good dude. I've heard of this guy. I heard that guy's a pretty good dude. Um, yeah. And so, uh, okay. So education, uh, Loon Don VA pursuing an associates in graphics design and receive secondary education via. Okay. Um, uh, too long. You think so? Yeah. Too long. Um, like it's, it's, it's too, I'm in the middle pursuing an associates degree in graphic design. Like, um, uh, Northern Virginia Community College, um, Loudoun, Virginia, that's fine. But like, uh, associates in graphic design expected, blah. Yeah. Um, and then the like secondary education via blah, blah, blah. If, if I wanted to add any of that, um, I would cast it very differently. And I would say aggressive self-education through xyz good yeah like i would make it and a, maybe on even a like separate down here. line or yeah i put yeah. it somewhere mm -hmm. else but even if i wanted to put it up under my education i'd go into bold and i would say the future lydia.com and skillshare in bold dash aggressive self-education in thing yeah mm -hmm. i like for all I know, like you're getting secondary education from uh, Lynda.com in, you know, being a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Like you don't tell me. Yep. So it's way too many words for an education and it sticks out as defensive. All right. Um, on the experience page, we're moving on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, choose something cooler than thumbnail designer. Okay. Head YouTube graphics designer or something, right? Like, like, like do some like really cool meme or thing there. And then in the actual description, um, again, responsible for ensuring fast turnover for YouTube thumbnail designs. At least you tell me what you do uh, in this. That's good. Here's way better, right? Because I, I fucking uh, employ you so I can, I can tell you what you, do, what you do that's awesome. Here's a stat, right? 
95% of the thumbnails I do get delivered in less than six hours. That's fucking insane, right? For and, that position. Yeah. Can he point to a lift in your open rate or your views? He can. Yeah, it's not because of that. But yeah, well, actually, it is because of that. It is. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. and by the mm -hmm. way, without lying, mm -hmm. you want to claim that lift, even if it's not perfectly causally. Uh, as long as Devin's not like, if he gets called as a reference, not going to contradict you and exactly. say your thumbnails yeah. didn't didn't deliver a lift in views, you want to you could say like estimated twenty percent increase in estimated. Fine, it's your estimate. Devin estimates it's only two percent. I estimate your thumbnails. You can also so ask awesome me. It's one hundred percent. You can also ask me. You can Correct. go. To, you can go to me and you can say, hey, since you're currently employed by me or recently employed, um, if you're at a job right now. Be like, hey, are there any metrics on how good this job is actually doing? Spoiler alert, you actually have to be confident that you're doing some shit for your company. Um, but but if you have a good job and you're contributing, you better be, right? So um, with me as a marketer at Nerd Fusion since I got here, um, how many more deals are coming through the company, for example, right? Like what by what percentage or things like that? Like I know all those numbers. So like those are things that you can point to. Um, so I would say like fast turnover, right? You could tell me instead that that's six hours like literally we put up a, a, a video idea um, and uh, like for the shroud thumbnail, right? For the, the, the shroud uh, video that we have out, which is killing it by the way, Ramon got that done in six hours, less I think, from the time I put up the video. That's insane, right? That's something you could put on there. Yeah, it's really good. fast yeah. turnaround. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and the, the key you actually wanna make- here, Same day. The yeah. reason same day turnaround matters is you're doing it while in school. And so you call out Ooh. delivering, uh, uh, you know, delivering fast turnaround, high impact thumbnails uh, while full time student is, is impressive because now I know you work at night and like I want to hire people who work at night. Madison Avenue wants to hire people who work all the fucking time. Yeah. And so, you know, you're sort of lining yourself up to say, I am a slave to your clock and I don't really have a life outside of work. Yep. And, and <laughs> that's going to be very appealing. Um, so, uh, Let's see. Um, Recognition. So one of the things that's not awesome here is that all the experiences are something to present. That may be true, but it, it like gives oh, me. Oh yeah, the, that's bad. Me the, like, yeah, I didn't even see that. Uh, the notion that you've never had a job before, which you haven't, but but yeah, not good. It, and it just it it makes it seem like oh, how are you doing? Like how are they all different? And how do you have time? And they must all right. be small. And why are you applying for a job? Yeah. Yeah. If you have three things that are paying you. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. you just got to figure out how to reconcile that and like tell a, tell a story that doesn't look like I'm doing all this little shit. Get fired from something. Not my position. I like you. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Or just uh, you, you roll them all under presser freelance design. Also good. Like, like yeah. mm -hmm. you do one thing, it's presser freelance design, example project or example client. Devin Nash. The other thing, and I, for anybody applying to anything, you need links on your resume because people are reading your resume live. Uh, they're not. They're not getting the thing on paper anymore. So that stuff should be clickable. Uh, in other words, for Devin Nash, if you want to say it's his YouTube thumbnail design, link to his damn YouTube to prove it. Yeah, 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 right? for sure. Get and, me and that. And so that way I can like verify. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I want to mm -hmm. be able to click the verify button, mm -hmm. and the verify button for this claim is like, show me the YouTube. Also, just a real quick on creative people, you have to have examples of your work no matter what. Like, if if you are a, if you're an artist, if you're a graphics designer, if you're anyone in creative, the absolute, in my opinion, first link like here and then again here because remember if we go back to ethan's um look at like how he has this set up right yep. meet like right up here should be your uh, so he had a portfolio right absolutely should be there um which should be a very simple web page that i can go to that i can do your work flip back to mine um, having, yeah. having given this advice i feel like if i went and edited my resume now i would go show a tw I, I need to add a link to twitch prime like it's literally twitchprime.amazon.com, like take people right there and show them yeah. what I do. And I didn't do that. One of my best friends um, in, in real life is um, a uh, drone photographer. And he does sp uh, specifically like really cool shit. So if you go to his page, right, you can immediately see the kind of stuff he does. This guy, by the way, is awesome. Wow, he travels the entire home. world. Fucking yeah, amazing. Yeah, he is. He's insanely amazing. Um, uh, he travels the entire world doing stuff like this. 
um, you can immediately see see how fast I went to his to, to his uh, page and what happened, right? And then um, you know I can go to his Instagram too, right? And this is another thing that if you are in graphics design or you are a creator and you don't have an Instagram, you are fucking doing it wrong. You have to have this. This is so important. So I can go and I can see his work, right? Um, at, like your Instagram is you for for um. So oh man, I'm big braining right now. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so for for professionals. LinkedIn is your portfolio. Yeah, for creators, for, it's Instagram. For creators, it's Instagram. Absolutely. Yes. Completely yeah. agree. Yeah. For, for and so it's like and I for can trolls, go it's through, Reddit. For trolls, it's Reddit. Yeah. And for and for um and for serial killers, it's 4chan. So, the, this, <laughs> <laughs> the, like I can immediately get a picture of what he's doing, like wow. and why I would hire this guy. Yeah, right. I want to hire him just so I can like he's talk a to him. Fucking baller. Yeah. 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 This is like this guy was like a nerd that played Eve online in college and like stole people's spaceships and then became like a freaking god. Yeah, this yeah. Is, these are awesome. Like, yeah, you, you it, aspire to take like that's if you're him. a regular yeah. dipshit that's actually with a him. camera. You aspire to take like two of these photographs in your life. Right? Yeah. 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 He's insanely good. But the point of it is, wow. right? Is um uh, is uh, uh well I was gonna show, um look how fast I found this right. Look look how mm -hmm. quickly this information came up right. Yeah. Oh, I want to look at video. Here takes me right to it. Takes me right to it. Playable embedded video in his website, hosted on Vimeo. Shows me what he and, does, uh, right? He Shows me like the skills that he has. This is a consummate professional. This is a dude who what? plays fucking ball, right? Like this is a no shit motherfucker, okay? Like um, if you're a creative person, this is what you want to be showing off. So his, we haven't even seen like the stuff that he actually does. He's a drone photographer, which means um, he actually uh, flies. This yeah, is what he does. Step, getting out on the bike. He flies drones in real time and like and like and like, sh and, like shows people doing stuff. And, uh, like and the approach to the and, and uh, okay, so like we can compare this to like um, yeah, yeah to remotes. Hills, which um, kind of came into a a valley right, and like, a bit of, um, I have no idea what you do, rocks, except for this logo the, right, right now, the first um, that, which uh, to be honest with you, I don't really like it. Um, but if I hit check the work, okay. So, so now we're, um, now there's at least yeah, work. I mean, now there's much work. earlier in yeah. his career, so yeah. you, 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 but there's at least something there. Yep. Yeah. Um, mm. there isn't uh scroll back up yep. a little bit more. Uh, the challenge with what we're looking at now, uh, is, uh, when I scroll down to look at the pretty pictures, they're not labeled. Like, I don't know what they are. Or why they're important. Why they're important. Mm -hmm. So a little of that was up top, but, like, I would take the time. With the with the visual photographer, it's all obvious. Now, it might be that a really good designer... Uh, go to the one on the right. We know you're over your band. There. Let's just see you this. Can, um, uh, so he's got a little bit about, like, up top what it was. But, shit, a, a really good... Um, a really good designer might be able to absorb this. Like, it's not aimed at us. Um, what you just said is really important. Right. It's not aimed at us. You're not speaking to a hiring manager. You're speaking to other graphic designers. This might be really, like, another designer might know why this is cool. I don't know why this is cool. Right? But if I go to Jeff's website, I know why that's fucking cool. Right? Like, like that, that, that is something that I think is really important here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the art is good, but it, it needs yeah. framing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, well, and again, so you could do something like where you posted, um, where, where you posted this like description of like like beside the the picture. Like, um, for here with this one, you could explain the thinking. Maybe like this isn't a full picture; it's over to like the left or the or the right. No, 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 the designer is good. He's very good at what he does. That's why he fucking works with me. Um, but what I'm saying is like we're just like he could be better. So like, uh, on the right. Uh, you could have like a description or a story that, that that people could follow along with that could be important. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I want more context with it. Me too. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so cool. All right. Yeah. Huh. All right. Uh, we're we're good here. Like the rest of the resume, you know, um, strong knowledge of, familiar with. That's fine. Um, yeah. The the it's thing whatever. that doesn't work is like uh, strong knowledge of, and then it's all Adobe stuff. Just say Adobe graphic suite or something like don't tell me five things and like adobe 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 <laughs> adobe I, yeah. I got it <laughs> um, uh, you know <clears throat> analog photography my current uh, yeah so 
Um, Only reason you work with them is free. No, I pay everyone that works with me, you dummy. Yeah. Check your facts before you say something in chat. Yeah, we had a uh, we had a great little discussion with, that we won't go into, but Devin sent Ramon to me, uh, and then uh, sent Ramon to me to ask to be paid, and it was a really good discussion about how to ask to be paid. So yeah, definitely Ramon gets paid. Uh, all right, let's go. Every single person that works with me gets paid. I do not accept volunteers, for the record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, mods get paid. Knights gets paid. I send him twenty bucks here and there. I, I, really, I do. Yeah, <laughs> he he keeps gifting it back to me in subs, so I can't. But I can't help that. I do. I do send him the money. I can't help that he sends it back. But yes, I do. Just trolling. They say he probably didn't demand a high fee. No, he doesn't. No, I mean, he, like, um, you know, like thumbnails don't cost that much, though. Also, right? Like, yeah, I know uh, you're just trolling. I'm just fucking yeah. with you too. I'm All trolling right. back, right? It's All right, let's, let's go. Yeah, these guys, Sailor Pluto and Kafir, are volunteer mods. They 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 get the sword because I'm sorry, I'm bullshitting. Okay. All right, next, we have to keep moving. Yeah, we're we're yeah. We, we got we got more people. We, we got, got other more roasts. To gore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here I'll click on one randomly. No, 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 no. Oh. Let's let's do players because I think he's oh. one of the ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the. Uh, he's on the team. Okay. Well, this is a Google Drive. That's an interesting choice. He chose to share a Google Drive, not yeah. a PDF. Uh, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that. Um, one of the things we have to wonder is was that the easiest way to get it to us? But most, I would not do that. Like. Um, in the real world, I would not do that. Uh, and the reason I would not do that is, depending on where you're applying, they may have no access to Google links. Like, a, um, if you imagine a pretty locked down company, like a defense company, or even like a bank, they're gonna have all sorts of firewalls in the, in, in the way of hitting external links. And so, um, anyway, they're gonna be in the way. So you wanna send them an actual attachment, um, yeah, and obviously you would not send a Google Drive link into Microsoft if you could avoid it. Okay, auto rejection players, putting me below Mr. Mooten. Are you fucking real right now? I, I okay, automatically rejecting this fucking application. Okay, this thing goes out the door, dude. All right. All right. So there's no objective First off, there, right? Was there? Uh, no, and that's a big thing. Um, I, 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 no objective is really important. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know what the hell you want. I just have a like list of. You know, uh, mismatch names, <laughs> um, destiny. Like the first real word on your. It is kind of interesting. The first real word on it's your destiny. resume is destiny. Yeah. That's, that's um, so, uh, Ethan, it is so cool to have Ethan here for this resume, right? Because um, I know what this means. Ethan has no fucking idea what this means, right? Because uh, do you know any of these people? Do you know Hook Gang, Gog, Mr. Mooten? You know those people? I know Destiny and because, you. But you know yeah. Destiny because I yeah. told you about him. Yeah. So, so the point being that, like, if you're sending this into I mean, a hiring manager. This is a social manager, me media management resume. You get from e contacts, but. Uh, yeah, but, the, but we have no idea why these people matter. Is what I'm right, saying. Right, sure. Yeah, it, Who it, are they're they? just names. Who could yeah. care? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like. Um, that, that's that's important because uh, a, a big part of like resume is how your eyes go and where they go, right? So if I so like Ethan identified destiny being the first word, it's like okay, and then what? Yeah, and then Shino actually says in chat it could be talent manager, and I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah, that's actually big brain because that yeah. that's immediate context. Yeah, manager. Yeah. I'm mm. like uh, I'm thinking what? like yeah. manager. What talent yeah. manager would work? Um, much better. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the question was, would linking to those streams help somewhat? Um, someone asked, would linking help? Linking would help somewhat. Even more, though, is just a little bit of context. Like, I... who is this person? And so work experience is the wrong thing. Talent under management. If this said talent manager, personalities under management. Now I'm like, oh, these are personalities. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I have all the context. Like, I don't know who Destiny mm -hmm. is. Destiny might be a pop star. Destiny might oh. be the name of like, uh, you know, uh, someone from a country I don't know who's actually, because who the fuck knows Destiny, but it sounds like a pop star if I'm being very boomer for a minute, like I had no idea. But even then it's like talent under management. You're okay. not far from the truth, honestly. Uh, <laughs> but like, at least now I'm like, oh, he talent acts like one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Only blue M&Ms. Yeah, <laughs> no brown M&Ms. <laughs> uh, so, Wait, that was really bad. Sorry, <laughs> I meant that. I'm talking about a story. Who is the um? Who is the story of uh of um? Holy band. shit, I fucked up. That was really bad. Yeah, 
Um, there was a band that uh, only wanted no brown M&Ms to test as a part of their rider. Yeah, they but, had it in their rider to but, see if people actually... Uh, but I actually went back to something that... Destiny's under fire for some dumb shit right now, so I actually went... I, I yeah, actually, yeah uh, we're I not did something there. bad. That's, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. So anyway... Uh, <laughs> Um, but if you, if you put talent manager and, and personalities under management, you're set. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you, it's, it's, uh, then you would want context on who they are a little bit, because even though you want to do talent management, maybe only for Twitch and YouTube, um, shock for you folks, most of the world doesn't, there are 30,000 Twitch partners. Some of these partners are good size but plenty of people are going to know none of them even people working in twitch don't know these people right a lot of them yeah so like, like yeah so, uh, but this but ethan fucking nailed it talent under management 100 percent. and also since all these are twitch streamers you can say twitch talent under management right yeah or twitch which, and youtube yeah 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 which even provides even more context you have a lot of space here yeah there's so other you things can you this. can do there's yeah. a, you can mm -hmm. test you know devin's always checking different words you could do uh, video streamers under management, video influencers under management. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. there's a bunch of different words. Influencers under management gives more. It's more specific than talent, mm -hmm. and it's more specific than personality. Because now, um, I would be like, oh, influencer under management. Maybe Destiny isn't a pop star. Some mm -hmm. sort of like Instagram person. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so now I'm 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 uh, still I'm getting more data, even though I don't know who it is. I'm getting led into it. Other note too, um, you mentioned click. Uh, so, players, by the way, I love you, but this is definitely the worst resume we've screened so far. It is complete ass. Just to give you a, a benchmark, it is horrible. Jesus fucking Christ, do you think? Calm down, dude. No, I, I, I want to give people a benchmark, right? Like, Can this you resume chill? Is... <laughs> I was like, I was worried that I was gonna go hard too hard, and then Ethan's like, this, this fucking is so put bad. This shit in the garbage. No, it's so bad. Like, <laughs> you gotta be honest with people if we're gonna help them out. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, like Presser's resume wasn't that great, right? It was pretty bad. It, but yeah, but it was... would you not say this one is significantly worse? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, I just yeah, yeah. and um uh what did we like we we gave Sloth a hard time. Sloth had the best resume. Sloth has the best resume so far. so far. Yeah. Like Sloth's yeah. resume was. You're the best of the worst. The best of the worst, right? We call that yeah. the cream of the crap. Mm -hmm. You're still not hired, <laughs> but the cream of the crap. Like you're mm -hmm. first in the in the By bucket the of last. <laughs> Angel thumb. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, one quick caveat here. I actually would not link the streams. I feel like, um, so uh, from my marketing expertise, I know that uh, in copywriting, you actually don't want to link um, other links that lead people other places if you're trying to sell them something. Yeah. The reason is because they may never come back, right? Uh, the only time this is not true is if you're in a blog post and you want to link other blog posts that you've done. That that's the, but so I'm actually not a fan of like putting Twitch.tv slash Destiny here because maybe they go on, they get distracted, and then they're done. Yeah, like maybe, I, I don't maybe. like that. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, um, no, you want it. You want it to be self-contained. You want the data there so they can verify. Um, yeah. In, in other mm -hmm. words, if I'm like, well, is this person big or real? I don't know this space. But you're you're right. You don't want to lead people away. The the idea that a hiring manager though is going to get like completely sucked into watching Destiny vods, limited. Um, Hiring managers are busy as shit. They're going to bounce their look and come back. Fair. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, he has, there are some examples here, right? So while I was busting on this, at least there's like example ad and, and some other stuff here. Um, <laughs> this is the worst resume in the history of resumes. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's rough. Um, I, I tell you that so you know to redo it. Managing Instagram account and giveaways for merch. What kind of giveaways? How many? Why was it important? What kind of Instagram account? How large syndicated podcasts? What Reddit discussion threads? How long have you been doing it? How what the fuck? How All long have is, how long yeah. have each of these people been under management? What growth have they seen under your leadership? Like, if you can say Destiny, you know, uh, Twitch streamer went uh, Twitch Twitch streamer went from two thousand average concurrence to seven thousand average concurrence under management in yeah. four months. Mm -hmm. Now I'm yeah. fucking like, oh, which I know for a fact you did because you grew Instagram uh, Instagram for Destiny from three hundred whatevers to whatever the fuck it is right now. I think I think he actually even passed me. Um, 
39,000, right? So you objectively grew an Instagram from like zero to this, and you're not telling me that. Yeah. Data <laughs> wins. Yeah. Data beats words all the time. Verifiable data? I, I'm hiring results, not your pretty pros. Yo, word up. And that's the yeah. same thing with Presser and the, the images in the portfolio. It's the same thing going back to uh, Sloth and the computer science. I'm hiring your results because that's all I get paid for. I don't get paid for having you in a chair. That's a cost. I get paid for what you do that earns me money. And so I'm paid to hire people who increase money, don't suck it out. And your salary is sucking money out. Yep. You've got to earn more than that, actually a hell of a lot more yep. to be worth it. Like 10x more. Yeah, 10x and you gotta, more. And you got to prove to me why you can do that. So. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Well, Players claims to be happy. He hasn't quit on no, you yet. No, he posts a kappa. <laughs> that means he's not. No, yeah, it's no, hard, right. but these guys can take it. It says... Um, this yeah. is just listen. You asked me for a reference. I would not have written. I would not have given you a reference if I knew how fucking shit this resume was, my dude. No, I'm kidding. I would. I was like, but but yeah, like actually, no, mm. you wouldn't. Hmm? Like honestly, um, if I knew someone was presenting themselves so badly, I would not tie my reputation to them. I would tell them, step up your game. Here's how. But I I cannot help you. I can't. Well, your reputation. Yeah has value and no, to put yeah, it on yeah. the line for somebody who, because an endorsement is, uh, it reflects on the endorser. Yeah. Like I, I mm. won't go into details, but I, I helped someone get a job mm -hmm. and it didn't work out. And now like I actually have to go check in on how much damage did I do to the relationship with the person who hired. I see. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, that may be fine, mm -hmm. but there's a cost to that. And so, uh, you're managing your relationship capital and a request for a reference is a type of relationship capital. And so I'm happy. I love to recommend people that are going to present well, because that's a positive reflection on me. Yeah. If yeah. they go achieve, mm -hmm. then it's like, Oh, you sent me good people. Yeah, That's what you want. You're yeah. five head. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if, <laughs> if, um, you send me people who tank, I'm like, uh, yeah. So and that you, gets around. Yeah. It's a small world. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, you don't want the like, Oh, Devin pawned off his crap on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. So, uh, um, every Devin Nash stream has been the best you've ever seen. That is exactly what we strive that for, man. Is that is completely true. That is fucking awesome. Uh, every show is the best show. Yeah. It's the best show. Yeah. This, this well, of is, course no it is This is actually the best show. Yeah. 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 Um, Best way to spend a Saturday, anyway. This is fucking awesome. It's pretty kick ass. This, uh, this All right, is, let's, yeah. let's go. Uh, I think Players has had enough. Like, so, would uh, you give him the phone screen, Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> no. He might. He might. He might call him up just to ask him why the resume was so bad. So, I will say yeah. I've seen worse resumes, but that's but, encouraging. Uh, well, ten thousand chances. If, if in ten thousand resumes you said this was the worst resume, you would straight up like. Like that guy would have to go to the burn clinic. Like that would be really <laughs> bad if they, if you said that. I would not even want you to say no, that. that. I would. Be uh, yeah, in ten thousand resumes, this is the worst one ever. I I'll did... just say I'll just say the worst resume uh, I ever saw at Amazon came in for IMDb. Amazon owns the Internet Movie Database. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. I didn't even know that. We own yeah. IMDb, mm -hmm. and someone thought that IMDb made films, and uh, his his name on the resume was Wolf. And it was Wolf on his motorcycle, and he wanted to make uh, porn films. And that was the resume. So it did have pictures. You said, put your picture on the resume. Wolf's resume on his motorcycle had a picture. Had several pictures. And he wanted to work for IMDb making, Holy shit, making trip dude. <laughs> that That's hard to beat. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, yeah. Holy so, shit. Yeah, Wolf on a motorcycle. <laughs> that is exactly right. It was... <laughs> Um, All right. Do we have anyone else in here? This part of the dream team. Um, I think from now on it's randos. So we're going. We're going in dry. Um, yeah. Uh, well, you just just pick something then. Okay. Ghosty banana. It says roast me. All right. You asked for it. I hope you're here. So we had a check. Like ghosty banana. Speak up if you're here. Otherwise, it's what double roasted. What the roasting. fuck is this? What the hell? 
I, I think that's a placeholder image. We Okay, we have to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume he's not actually going to send a resume in with a ghost banana on it. I, I just I just have to do that because if I don't... Oh my God, I'm though. Not... Read the career goal. This is over already. Done. Work, if possible, in banking, investment, insurance, or actual areas. Uh, yes. Hello, no self-confidence. That, that's pretty yeah, bad. You, like, yeah, that's, that's pretty okay. rough. So, oh, because shit. we've been having fun ripping gotta, on gotta, people, players, this yeah. is better format and gives me more data. He just shot it, like, blew, he or she blew his own head off by, like, hi, I'm lame, and I'm so sure I'm lame that even when I ask for work, I have to say you don't really want me because I can't even believe in myself mm -hmm. enough to ask for the it's job. It's like being like a vacuum cleaner salesman and knocking on the door and be like, you don't want one of these, do you? <laughs> like, I, I know yeah. you have hardwood floors yeah. and therefore like yeah. you need a mop, not yeah. a vacuum. I'm sorry to bother you about this, but like, hey, you know, if I could just like, please like, you know, I know like I'm not really great at this, but like, no, there's actually a really good lesson in this, which is like, um, there is such a fucking difference between sounding confident and not. Um, that's like, like if, if if you come in and you're like, um, I, I would I would love to pursue an opportunity. It's, oh, it's like ghostly. Yeah. I'm feeling bad now. Read. Mm. Sorry, I'm interrupting. Mm. Read under personality. I'm feeling like I am an introvert. I think a lot, and I always try to use feedback to but optimize it just starts procedures. But I am an introvert. Like we took an introvert who said his well, resume. Well, he says he like, always tries to use feedback. So well, okay, they, they, all right. This is feedback. All right, so I interrupt yeah. you. You keep going and, where you were. And also to be fair, um. The marketing that I did around this stream right. made it very clear that if you sent in your resume, you were going to get fully fucked. There was there was no there was yeah no, there were no false yeah, expectations. There was I did not I did not market this like oh like come have a resume stream and I was like I was like like you can read my writing on the announcements up in my Discord. It was like it was like yeah. fully expect to be blown the hell out like like it was like a it was like the real shit. Um, like. Um, yeah, I like I said somewhere up here uh, several times that like this is wait this will not be, uh yeah it was like it was like yeah, rough yeah. I believe you so it's like okay anyway I believe you yeah. all right mm. so let's go back you were talking about the career goal so oh you were talking about confidence confidence versus like yeah I, the, 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 or... basically I think like and I go back to Ethan's resume which was um uh proven executive leadership okay this is this isn't. This isn't a bitch, okay? This is a person who is not is not. I I, I led some companies or like um was a was a VP at at, at Amazon. Like right, this is like eat a yeah, bag the, of the dicks. I'm a proven be, executive, the, okay? The, the equivalent like, is if yeah, I led this like, by saying um, uh, if I had opened by saying like executive leadership role desired. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> or, yeah. or, Exa um, um, or searching for searching for executive uh, role in a company I can hopefully contribute to. Oh, yeah. Here, here's what you could actually see somebody yeah. write that mm. would be awful: striving for next step into executive leadership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'll be like, your next step is going to be out of my in your, inbox. Your next dude. step is yeah. going to be grill leadership at yeah. McD's. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, you're running the grill team. Yeah. Um, oh man. Okay. All right. So yeah. let's try and help. This is actually visually attractive. Mm -hmm. Like that mm -hmm. part's really good. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, it looks great. Uh, yeah. Academic background on the right. So the most important thing is your work experience, and it's buried in the bottom right. Like. I could give a shit where you were educated if you've done something since then. I mean, I care, but not really. I care what you've done. Um, now, I think your work experience should be first. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, At top and center. And uh, I would do something to exemplify this this setting. Uh, make these pop out more. Because right now, my eyes go to the left. Yeah, yeah. my eyes mm -hmm. go to the left, and mm -hmm. the left's got a bunch of weird stuff on it. Uh, personality is an amazingly uh, dangerous um it is yeah uh, I, because I, you polarize people yeah yeah and mm -hmm. and uh frankly being an introvert is not a winning trait in america at least now i realize you're in rome because university of bologna and it, it uh <laughs> but i don't think it's a winning trait in italy either it's not a real university <laughs> oh it is the university of bologna is not a real university are you fucking with me yeah absolutely <laughs> bologna is in rome I mean, it's not in Rome. It's in Italy on the coast of, like, Genoa. God damn it. 
I, All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just thought it was like a very clever way to anonymize it. Like I went to the University of Bologna. Yes. No. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure he said University well, of Bologna. Well, Ghost of Banana is right here. Sorry for the bad Did you up. actually go to this real university or did you type it as like just filler? I fucked up. No. I thought it was actually No, look where look look, look at unless he made up everything else with Rome and stuff, but we're not we're not dogging on you. Oh no. <laughs> we're not dogging on you for bad English. That's not Oh no. 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 Go see banana, yeah. we're not picking on you for the English. No, That's I made a mistake. Yeah. I thought you were writing the University of Bologna. I didn't know that that is an actual real university. Yeah, so like uh, this is the guy who's traveled to twenty, 20 countries. countries, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. one of which was Italy, I guess. Yeah, and he went to the University of Bologna. Uh, yeah, well, or you're at least cursorily aware of it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. ESL roaster Andy. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's move on. Um, so, uh, but I would not cover my personality, and particularly I wouldn't lead with I'm an introvert. Um, uh huh. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you could say this same stuff like person. Some people will say personal traits or personal values. Even that's sketchy. But if you really want to put something in there, um, uh, you can put like personal traits or personal values. Um, I like why I'd like to join the company or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But also yeah. you can like say like, like driven by feedback. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Driven by feedback and improving quality <laughs> of, of, of work. University of Rigatoni, Rigatoni. dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, well, the placement the, school of pasta. The, the food, yeah. <laughs> no, Italy's got all these... Italy and Germany have all these great towns named after food, right? You've got hey. Hamburg and hey. uh, Frankfurt, right? Like, um, And then down in, down in Italy, like... Not far from Bologna, you have Genoa, which is Genoa Salami, and we can just go on and on. Yeah. Now I'm going to get really hungry, and we're going to have to end the stream. So we can't do that yet. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, all right, my Lixia University. That's what we have right here. That's true. That's what this is. Uh, yeah. So the advice here is you have to be confident. Did you want to say more about confidence? Because I thought I cut you off when you were talking about I mean, no, I, I think we covered it. I, just, just I, I, we, went, we went back to your proven ex, uh, yeah, yeah, executive yeah, yeah. leadership. Yeah, and I think that, that, and that calls it. you don't have to be yeah. an executive to be confident. Okay? Yeah. You could um, say, because um, uh, has he got a master's here? Yeah, master's degree in financial market. Um, so he's got an MS. Proven economist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or, or just uh, for career goal, you can absolutely say um, position in banking, investment, insurance, or actu or actuarial. It's a weird um, word. That leverages my advanced education Ooh. in financial markets. Ooh, that's sexy. Tss, I love right? that. Yeah, that's uh, good. Leverage is good. Advanced education is good. And you make it relevant because now you've used your career goal to tie them in. Because if, if you have this in the normal, like, top thing, next thing, next thing order, which is okay, you're sideways. That doesn't matter. Your career goal then makes them read your education. Yes. Because you've said, oh, I yeah, have education mm -hmm. in financial markets. So now they're going to go look and say, like, well, does he? Oh, okay. He's got a master's, mm -hmm. right? And so... Everything makes them, you want to like, it's, it's like fishing, right? You know, like, ah, get that hook in and then just keep bringing them in one line at a time. Um, but uh, you, you got to be confident. All right, next. Okay. Sorry, no phone screen. No phone screen. Uh, bonus points for finding an actual picture of a ghost banana. That is a, that is a pretty challenging thing. Good job. Okay. Um... All right, I'm gonna go to some of the older ones because these guys were, we're on the. We're on, on it. Yeah, they were on the fly. That's, so that's excellent. Yeah. Um, mm. Let's get Mario. Con uh, Con oh, and the Conjure also donated too. So yeah. this is a this is a double thing. Sends a Google Doc, a DocX, and a PDF. Which is absolutely uh, smart. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Send it in both mm. formats. Don't 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 make don't make the hiring manager like whatever they like because it costs you nothing to save the resume in multiple ways. And so you make it super easy. Two page resume out, huh. out. Uh, but seriously, uh, the first thing that I notice about this resume is there's a shitload of information on it. 
Which it, is it, good. Just, what is it? It's it good feels like there's a can. lot. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, well, so yeah. this is a software role. So that the hiring for different roles software resumes are traditionally very data dense about the technologies you know and the shit you've that's built. fair and i feel like you have uh, like it's hard unique contracts because i don't hire for software it's, roles, it's so yeah. hard mm. skills it's concrete skills mm -hmm. so you're not trying to like just lead somebody to work you've done elsewhere you're mm -hmm. trying to actually show okay so let's see four years of experience all right facts um, oh, and, and so he starts with career summary yeah interesting yeah not objective so Matt, which, yeah it's fine yeah can be okay if you e clearly apply e the e software. Ethan shows how you do do it if you are going to do really that. And that really is a career yeah. summary, right? It is, right? yeah. Executive leadership of multiple $500 million businesses across games, global leadership experience of teams, technical inventor. Like career summary, right? So he shows how you do it. You want to avoid big paragraphs because mm -hmm. people skim them. That's what I meant by too much information. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. agree with you. Mm -hmm. People start yeah. skimming. So what attracted my eye to this right away is I'm like, look, uh, he's coming through with the I have all the hard skills. So this immediately is classic software engineer, look at all the tech stuff I know. Mm -hmm. So that's a classic approach. It's not the only approach in software, but they're like, I know all this technical shit is a strong opening claim. Mm -hmm. And that we call this um, acronym soup. This section is the acronym soup because okay. everything's an acronym. Okay. And so this resume is written only to other geeks or to technical recruiters who speak geek. And it's strong in that is way. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it gets down to, okay, where have you done this? Like you've got all these claims and you've claimed a whole ton of shit. Um, the first thing a recruiter is going to do is they're going to, for better or for worse, they're going to skim and say, is this shit we're looking for mentioned? So like, okay, we do C sharp or whatever it's in here. Yeah. Um, and then they're going to go and say, what level? Like, uh, is Ally financial company someplace we actually know? Um, you know, is it a big name? Yeah, do they build big stuff? And then what level? Software engineer three. Okay, does the work sound like it? Um, Agile team that followed all the standard rituals. That's horrible. Um, <laughs> well, it's nothing about what you. Yeah. It's nothing about what you've done, and it literally sounds. You you read it as mm -hmm. um, Agile team that did nothing remarkable. Mm -hmm. That's what that says. Actually, that is how all the standard rituals is fucking abysmal. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's you, you shot yourself mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. The point. Being generous, the point the author was trying to make is I know Agile. Yeah. Like, I understand Agile methodology. I've practiced it. That's um, a different way to say that. But there's better yeah. ways to mm. say that. Now, we have another uh, fail, which is worked on car selling app. Those are not power words. Developed you, a car selling app. And even yeah. if you didn't mm. develop the whole thing, talk about the part you developed. Yep. Led the interface definition of car selling app. Built the scalable infrastructure, built the scalable back end of car app. And then what's the impact? How many users? Whatever. Um, you're, you're not giving me the power word of what you did yeah. and the results. Yeah. That's like a recipe. What the fuck did you do specifically? What result did you get that I want to hire? Because I'm looking at this resume and saying, what did you do? I want to buy more of what you did. Yes. Or I don't. Mm -hmm. And right now... I don't Again, want to buy somebody who worked on something. This is what Ethan is saying about people that are afraid to commit, right? It, it, it's uh, that you were saying before is people, you just don't, you want to feel, you feel like someone is going to judge you. You feel like someone's going to come out and say, oh, I, be, I don't want this. And then by being specific, you're going to lose. But by being specific is how you win. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and, mm. So he eventually gets to it, mainly worked on the admin portion of it, which also doesn't sound powerful because mm -hmm. that's like the, the, the least sexy part. But if you, you can turn it around and say, owned the administrative controls of high scale Carter app, including user authentication and security. Now it's powerful. You right. own something. And I'm just, I, I'm so interested in so many of these things. Like, um, Odd production support every uh, every month for a week to help with round the clock support. How many tickets did you uh, answer? What was yeah. your most interesting problem? Um, help start a second team. How many people to inherit a portion of the application? What portion? What team did you lead? What yeah. part was broken up? Why? Right? Like, these yeah, are yeah. all things. Data, that are, data, yeah. data specifics. Yeah. Now, what is mm -hmm. good about this to give the good? He is specific <clears throat> um, on technology used colon. So, like, I know in this role you. That's these, cool. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. So that's very yeah. specific. I like that. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Ooh. So, what? Spiked punch man. Good question. 
What is this? Spike punch. Uh, how do you feel about I'm the fact that you had... Yeah, I, I, I was just going to call that out, and I feel bad about it. Yeah. It's too much job hopping. Um, so, uh, look, some people, sometimes people change jobs, but you're going to have to be ready to explain that. And, and rotating jobs every year, eventually people are going to... Look, I just think about that really quickly. When I see a resume like that, I'm like, oh, I'm hiring a hired gun. I get a year, you're gone. And so... Um, unless I can afford to have someone in and out in a year, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to pass, uh, particularly, um, uh, so I've been called out about that in the interviews. I have a good explanation. Great. Roll it out. Kanja, you're, you're here type. You've been, I'm glad though you admit you've been called out cause it's going to come up. Um, yeah. So sneezes, you ask how many of your past jobs should you list? It depends on how old you are basically, right? Like the older you are, more jobs. Um, uh, but I, I think it's which jobs tell a good story and give enough information for people to give a, um, give a decision. So, and remember when a hiring manager is trying to decide, they're basically thinking, here's what I'm thinking when I'm hiring software engineers and I'm going to do the phone screen. I'm thinking, I've had both phone screens. The one where I'm on the phone, I'm like, oh, this person's awesome. How do I sell them on this? And the one where I'm on the phone and I'm like, oh my God, now I fucked up. I'm on the phone with an idiot and I have to like be polite for another half hour before I can plausibly hang up. And so, um, uh, and yeah, I can talk about the star approach. That's a great question. I'll, I'll hit that in a second. Um, so I'm trying to decide from the resume, is this worth gambling my 45 minutes because I'm going to get someone? Yeah, um, <laughs> that's so exactly right. So <laughs> on, on the STAR, um, STAR is an interview technique that a lot of companies use. It's behavioral interviewing. STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, Result. Um, and basically, that's what I'm going to want to know from each person is what was the situation you were in? What was the task you were working on? What were the actions you took and what were the results? And if your resume answers that, like, oh, you were at Ford Motor Company, you were a software engineer. Great, I have the situation. Um, but then heavy paired programming environment with agile practices doesn't tell me what you were doing. Worked in a new startup feeling application, whatever that is, to manage fleets of vehicles, right? Line one, what were you doing? Uh, constructed fleet management application for enterprise customers. Okay, now I know what you're doing. And then the results. You can definitely say it was an agile or pair programming environment, but I'm not hiring you for what kind of programming environment you've worked in. I'm hiring you for what you fucking did. Mm -hmm. and, and this resume is too slow to get to what you did. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, the author said he could explain how he was dealing with being... A I, I ignored chat and it may have gone by. No, 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 we don't have that. Don't use that because we don't have that context. We're, we're hiring yeah, managers. Yeah. We don't uh, have wait, a live chat. Did, oh, I know. He said he'd been called out, though. I was wondering if he was going to explain, and he mm. hasn't yet. Mm. Oh, there it is. My last two jobs have been contracting jobs. Great. So fucking put that in the resume. Um, like, put in contracts so that people don't know, people don't think you're a job hopper. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's why I wanted to know because it. it was okay. a call fair. out about totally why are you fair. job hopping yeah, so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, and in fact, you can even be more dramatic than if you have an objective at the top, since you're in a contract role and you don't want that, you say seeking full-time permanent employment with. Mm -hmm. Like you yes. emphasize, yeah. like, I want somewhere I can stick. Yeah. Uh, so, all right, let's go on. Okay. Ethan sounds like he's begging for the needle in the haystack and point. Yeah, dummy, that is exactly what we're doing because we have ten thousand people applying for a position and we want to get we want to get the best person. That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, hundred percent. I yeah. I, I, I want to hire a bunch of people, Licorice. Like uh, that, Amazon wants to hire a lot of people, but when they don't work out or they suck, we have to fire them, and that and sucks that's a, way it, worse. It sucks really bad, and you've paid a lot to train that person. Yeah, you've been that. The biggest fear of any company is like, if I hire someone and in six months they don't work out, the amount of equity that I put into that person- I've lost six in, months, yeah, all I've lost six months, I've happy. lost, yeah, oh God, and Sorry, it's you're terrible. gonna have to deal with it. These oh, are the bosses yeah. talking. Like, we're yeah. not here to give you jobs, we're here to make money for our companies. 
Yeah. 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 Now mm-hmm. we love you to death if you if you help do that and you're fun to work with and you're a great person. We love to have drinks with <laughs> you. But at the end of the day, it's about you producing results that get turned into money. Yep. And if you do that well, you're hired. And if you do that you poorly, hired. you're fired. And and and, and uh, one quick note. I mean, um, complacency is like a real thing. And like when you when you really feel like, oh, I'm totally solid in this business. I'm friends with all my bosses. Everything's good. Like at the end of the day, dude, it's about numbers and making stuff happen. Like you're not coming into work uh, for free. Like it's like so. A, one of a, my yeah. my current boss says something that I love. He says it's not called. Uh, show friends. Speaking of Hollywood, he says it's not called show friends. It's called show business. Show business. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say that you don't go out to dinner with your bosses or you don't spend time with them or whatever. And you don't have like, fun. Yeah. And I mean, it's also not to say there is no loyalty. Like when someone yeah. does well and then they have a bad day or a bad week or a bad month or a bad divorce. Yeah. But they have to have that reservoir of having delivered. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Anyway, let's move on because we got a lot of stuff. Um, I also I hope we come across a resume. If one of you submitted a resume and you have no work experience, and that was a question we just I would got. like to review it because I actually um, I, I think it is very hard to uh, do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're gonna keep looking though. Oh, uh, Kanja wants to know where he goes. What bucket? Um, that's tough. I think you have a decent chance of getting uh, a software engineering screen. I probably would have moved on. So bottom line, last judgment, no, you didn't make it. Uh, And it's not because of your hard skills. It's because of how you presented them. Like no action words, weird stuff, uh, talking about what type of team environment before you gave me results on what you did. I would also skip you. All right, John Doe with a picture. I love it. Yeah, great. And it's a professional picture, button up. It's probably not actually him. It's probably a stock photo. It's okay. Um, it, but shows good choice in stock photos. So the so the first problem is uh, I open this up in a PDF, and I get like, it's one page, but I have to. Am I zoomed in? Am I dumb? Hang on. You, you might have. Did uh, you zoom for for, for like, Ramon? For yeah. Ramon? So I might. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I uh, ignore. I might be dumb. Okay. Let's assume I'm dumb. Um. Good stuff. Okay, so I, I I think this is great. Again, I'm a very big fan of uh, photos. Um, I'm a big fan of a title right there. Yeah. That's very cool. It immediately tells me what he does. Yeah. I just got so much information from that. Um, about me, young professional, well-experienced in social media and e-commerce with a bachelor's degree in media sciences, co-founded student-run marketing agency and co-founded a video production studio, proven tactical skills in leading media software. Passion for enhancing people's like, dude, I'm I'm pog on this. This is cool. I'm yeah. So we're reviewing um uh Julius right now. Uh is the, is is this resume. Uh this is this is good shit. Uh all contact information. Ooh. Um ooh. Wow. Uh, I normally hate putting references on resumes, but he did it with a tactic. A yeah, head yeah. of communications with a Fortune yeah, 500. Yeah, he's saying I have a real reference. I have a real reference. I have a real that's reference. That's interesting. That's interesting. Some, some someone Ooh. because since Ooh. I don't have a lot of experience and I'm young, because mm-hmm. he calls himself out as young. Yes. Uh, someone who's not young and has more credibility than I am is willing to lend their credibility it's to me. The first me. time I've ever seen that. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's yeah. solid. That's, that's cool. That's a good tactic, that's particularly cool. if you're early in your career. Yeah. Um, that's neat. All right, so scroll down for a sec. We yeah. got to ask. Um, this is this is really important. Do you believe that the University of Barcelona is a real place? I don't know. It sounds a little bit like a pasta, Ethan. I, I can't be sure. All right, Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you literally busted out like the University of like spaghetti, I would believe it now because I just don't want to fuck up <laughs> the spaghetti institution, dude. I might like. I don't know. I can't be sure. Uh oh, there's a yeah. who's this guy? I'm getting Dude. dissed by a guy who's not even a subscriber. Wait, what happened? Oh, uh, uh, who's this guy? Uh we don't know. No. I'm... No, 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 we're good. Yeah. hmm There's a random guy on Devin's channel. Copy it's pasta. a takeover. Copy pasta institute, dude. That's where my girlfriend's from. That's where she graduated from. The copy All right, pasta let's academy. See. Um so, gymnasium. Okay, I would lose that. I get that this is a German resume, resume but... Uh, Abitur. What uh, does that mean? 
Uh, that's like his grade school, but or his high school. Oh, I, I'm okay. not super yeah. fluent in, um, uh, but it's it's well, what, pretty what, college. I, I like this, by the way. This yeah, is cool. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, yeah a it's got a little graphics. Yeah. Like this is very attractive, which for a marketing manager is great. It should be. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Company X in this project, I was responsible for project management. Exception and implementation of a new video content strategy for company. The goal was to film various anniversary events and create multiple movies by the anniversary. I really want to know what happened. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's really good right up until you don't tell me the result. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's a boo ball, um, uh, and maybe that's that. Maybe he's thinking that's intentional because he wants me yeah, to get. Yeah, Arbiter is it high school. It's okay. high school. Which wants I, to get me to a interview because yeah. he's like, so, like, because I would ask him about that in an interview. Right. Yeah. So going back to the high school part, nobody cares where you went to high school. Right. That's the point. Yeah. But um, for this, I do like the idea of putting something on your resume that begets the interviewer to ask a question about that because I do do that. So so it's like um, I was responsible for a project at the conception of a rotation. Do I, I would that would be like a question in an interview I would ask be like, well, like, tell me what happened about this like video. It's, it's too much preamble though. In it this is. project, yeah. I yeah. was responsible mm -hmm. for. Um, uh, so I would just say responsible for the conception and implementation of a new video content <laughs> strategy uh, with the goal of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then you're saying you would leave the result out? No, no, no I would put I would the put result in. in. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I was just saying yeah. if, in, the, in this context is kind of, yeah, but I absolutely would. Bobby Dukes, Twitch Prime. Let's yeah. go, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, and we're gonna we're we're not gonna have too much more time before I have to go for the day. So if you want to get your last gifts into the community gift chest, and Bobby Dukes just did that too, so awesome, Bobby. We will. Uh, we uh, we're will gonna be it. we're gonna be giving that out soon. So yeah. everybody's got to stick around and get there. Uh, we have hundreds Another of gifts. Another Twitch piled Prime up. too. Yeah, white noise. Yeah, Twitch let's Prime go. coming Clap in. Let's go. it up Woo! for these two. Let's go. All right. Thank you very much. Damn, PR internship for a Fortune 500. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, public relations work with a focus on leadership communications. By said, the way, this is the first well, resume that is definitely going to phone screen. Same. I like, would, I would ab 100% interview this guy. This yeah. is the winner so Without far. A doubt. And you're yeah. not just cream of the crap. Yeah. You're actually above you're the line. You're actually good. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would absolutely interview this person. And by 100%. the way, second prompts, mm -hmm. uh, non-native speaker of English. Right? Yeah. Fuck. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. uh, for all those people who've dogged me in the past for making fun or saying like you got to have good english if you want to work in the english speaking world yes that sucks those are the rules if i had to go work in china i'd probably be like selling noodles and i'd be fucked mm -hmm. but this is this is your chance mm -hmm. um yeah absolutely so uh all right uh let's see what else we have to cover here um, and now we have German going in chat. Assisted in awesome. creation of the video series. He specifically says what it is. I like that. Um, I would love to see like the viewership or the result. Any kind of data you can get from that. Yeah, there's good. no numbers. Yeah, you're killing it on a lot of things, but no numbers. But you're numbers. not killing on the numbers, my man. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, implementation, yeah. So I think this is a pass. Yeah, this yeah. is a win. This like, is a there's win. stuff you yeah. can make better, but... but uh, yeah, just yeah. get the data right. Yeah, uh, uh, other than that... Uh, Action words. And, and trim, I, trim out the extra happy And I words. do like the baller reference, dude. How to communicate. I do like that. Yeah. Like, like he, he asked permission for that guy. Here's my here's the phone number. Here's the email right there. Like, call him up. Call him yeah, up right yeah, now. It, it, do it. Yeah, yeah. call him. Yeah. I dare you. Baller, man. Now, what I yeah. do with this and what we love with it is we're like, well, we'd probably rather hire the head of communication. So let's call him. <laughs> but sometimes we want to hire both. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the first thing you do is somebody's reference is you're asking the question, do we want to hire the reference too? And are they available? That's insane. I've never even thought of that. Yeah, That's no, actually crazy. Like, yeah. like it's a way to network up, right? Like sure. here's somebody who's yeah. pretty good and here's somebody who recognized they're pretty good. So maybe I want like pretty good, you know, yeah. there's this rule That's A's higher A's yeah. and B's higher C's. You mm -hmm. ever heard this? A's higher A's. A's higher B. A's, A's higher A's, A's, A's and B's, B's higher C's. C's. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's because good. Because A's want yeah. to work with people who are like them and B's are threatened, so they want yeah. like they want worse people. They want worse people. Let's do a Ethan Evans one for one from your channel. All right. Uh, um, pick either one. Which one do you want? Uh, I don't remember which one's which. So let's do not my real resume. Okay. Um, see, the, see, your guys have training. Um, but still, I mean, there's a lot going on here. There's no objective statement. Yeah, there's no objective. There's Man, no... so like, I really like um, just comparing this to the to the last one. Um, again, 
as, as an example, right? Very I, different target, marketing versus tech. But here's the thing, right? It takes me two seconds on this resume to get an idea of what this guy, I like I that. Agree. That title is so good. I don't know what this is for. It's powerful. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no objective. They, no, yeah. It's, you know what I mean? Like, I mean um, diploma in accounting, Bachelor of Arts and Sciences in Economics, mid-sized software company cloud specialist. I now have cognitive dissonance again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of good data on here. This resume is winning on data. Um, in that sense, it's good on being information dense. It's, it needs framing. And what Devin's saying he liked about the other one is the framing was unmistakable. Marketing manager. It, well, I just, I like that within uh, both the, the most featured sections of this resume, right? Within 30 seconds or less, I know exactly what you are and what you want to do. And that is very neat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, Mid-sized software company, cloud specialist, uh, different mid-sized knowledge and content audit internship, content auditor, research assistant, and then a bunch of nonprofits. All right, so what do you actually do? Investigate, devise, and own technical solution to client issues. That's strong, thereby resolving blocker and critical level tickets. Pretty solid line. Mm -hmm. How many? How many? What happened? What, what, but you see, to his credit, he actually has some things. Reviewed 150 plus resources on nonprofit leadership. Um, proposed recommendations that were adopted by managers leading to new initiatives include the reduction of company content by 15%. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Although the reduction of company content, I don't know what that means. Uh, um, yeah. Usually, yeah. That's kind of weird. Um, well, yeah. Content audits. So maybe they're trying. I think this would like this. Read this line. This line, I think, is probably his strongest. Um, Initiated projects to automate KPI report, execution time report, and more, thereby saving 12 hours per month of manual input. Yeah, it's very specific. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah. What mm. is killing me here is what is it you want? Like, mm. I don't know what the hell mm. you want to do. And so I don't know. Am I supposed to be reading this as like a content auditor? Uh, cloud specialist is a little bit unclear. You say these are software companies, so I'm trying to assume you want a geek job. But like, uh, you don't call it out. And if you do want a geek job, you don't have the alphabet soup. They're all the way at the bottom. There's a little bit of alphabet soup, but it's not technical. So it doesn't, you're like doing something in a software company, but you're not a software engineer. Yeah, no real idea of how you're applying. So well, yeah. mm. what I'm struggling with, I get that you probably are thinking, well, but I applied to a specific job. So you're going to evaluate me in that context. But Realize resumes get passed around, they get handed off, one job closes, another one opens. Yeah. You want to be clear about what you want to do. Or somebody actually puts your resume in an inbox for six months and then comes back to it and doesn't even know what the fuck they're hiring for anymore, or is hiring for a different position and needs to know what your resume is relevant for. So mm -hmm. overall, like formatting is all right, data and specificity, you're winning on being specific. You're one of the few people to give us numbers and results. Yeah, I like this. Um, but we need the objective. We mm -hmm. need something that tells us what are you after. Yep. So sadly, no phone call, but you were close. Same. Yeah. Pass All right. Let's Pass do the other as one well. for my because uh, there are only those couple. You got it. Yeah, the top one there. Just need to make sure it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, perpetual white belts is uh, Twitch chat name. So, um, whoa. I, I, I hate the format of this so, so much. So gens. Yeah. Like, you literally have, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bullet points for one job, my dude. Yeah. This for, is, for one 18 month job. This is, this is the fucking like of mice and men shit, dude. This is some fucking like guns, germs, and steel, like a war and peace shit, dude. Okay. This is like some fucking like 900,000 page shit. I, the, 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 uh, I'm so never Droid this. Lord has this right. I would read like 10% of that. And that's unfortunately true. I'm skimming this. and um, Also, no, this is auto fail. I would fail you on the basis of failure. I just, I don't, I don't like the, num the information. There's no objective. And it, 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 yeah, no. All right, so let's try and see if there's anything of value. Let's actually read it, even though we wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Developed and deployed a multi-level text classification system for customer reviews for a Fortune 50 tech company. 
my work resulted in new business valued in six figures USD. How much? I don't like, I don't like six figures USD doesn't matter. Valued some, at, that yeah, doesn't sound confident. Uh, yeah. yeah, some people, um, you do have the problem that if you're still working somewhere, I can't post or distribute business facts, but it's unlikely to be true in, a, in an entry, this, this person's early in his or her career, mm -hmm. and so it's unlikely to be true there. Um, like the reason my resume had the undisclosed shit is I can't talk about some of the business results and that's understood. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. But anyway, otherwise that line is actually pretty powerful. Developed and deployed the thing they did, um, for a purpose and result. Yeah. Like the, the, the format of your bullet, the content is right. The visual presentation of the resume is poor and then yeah. there's just too many fucking bullets. You got to choose which three things punch. Can you flip back to my resume real quick? Yeah, you got it. So something we haven't talked about yet. Um, I very purposely uh, did two things in this resume. You haven't commented on, Devin. Maybe you didn't notice, which is fine. Every summary is exactly four lines. Um, <laughs> and it's not because four is right or wrong. It's because I decided four is about what it's taking me. So you want to stay consistent. And I want to stay consistent. But I also need to, like, I'm compiling years of executive work into four lines. You have half a page on 18 months of internship. Mm -hmm. Now, God knows I know you wanted to fill up <laughs> your page. That's actually so good, what he just said. Yeah. I, I know you wanted to fill up the yeah. page because you don't have a bunch of other jobs to put on it. So I'm not <laughs> yeah. just like, oh, you're young, you're fucked. That's not my point. Um, but my point is, don't, don't like, you know... Uh, optimized uh, coffee making morning routine to save two thirds of a second. It's gotta be worthwhile. Yeah. And I, mean, I get what you're going be for, more. but yeah, exactly. That's the takeaway. Um, That's the takeaway. Less can be more. Yep. So, um, because you want the, um, I mean, there are good things in here. Uh, and then there's like built various dashboards is not, you never want to say stuff like that. Uh, built various dashboards that help. Because here's what's here's what's happening in his mind. You notice, look at the first statement, right? Developed and deployed. Like we, we already went over that. It's good, right? As he had to think about creating more bullet points to fill space, they got they get, it gets more and more bullshit, right? So now that we're down to built various databases, it's to the point where it's like, you don't need to include that, dude. Like you had you had some strong lead-ins, condense that into something that matters and give me three bullet points that matter. Yeah. Mm. Um. And I, I get that you are, you know, trying to fill up a page. There are other ways to fill up a page so it just doesn't look like you've never done anything. Yep. But now, like, why is there so much here and so little in the others? Like, what did you do in the tech startup? What did you do in the multinational steel company? Yeah. It's out of balance. Hop back to my resume, right? Same type of thing. I actually, I actually count out, like, how much I need to write, right? And I, and I, and I put in a short amount of it. Here's yeah. what's screwing mm. you all, and I'll give you um, what's killing you. It's your life. And so all of us want people to care deeply about our lives and to want to read our War and Peace length life story. Yeah. Mm. Because nothing is as important to me as my life. Right. So I want to tell you all about it. Unfortunately, as the reader, no one cares. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, no one cares. I want to know what you can do for me. And yes. that's selfish, myopic, and I'm a horrible, bad person. But you're trying to like figure out how do you tell me about you in a way that I give a shit about. Because it, I don't care about your life. You're only a piece of paper to me at this moment. In, in business, always try to write and speak in a way that is serving the other person. That, it, that, it, that is keeping that person in mind whether it be to sell something, buy something, that's absolutely true. That is correct. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, uh, the way I often phrase this, I love catchy little phrases, is you're not saying what you want to say. You need to say what the other person can hear. And so in this case, it's write what the other person can absorb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you're writing to their eyes, not what you want to say about yourself. And that's where people get wax rhapsodic and if you're waxing rhapsodic you're done yeah like yeah because now you're the focus is on you and you might as well write a resume like hey person really proud of self wants you to worship me too with high dollar job now i'll try and justify that yeah 
Mm-hmm. Completely agree. So this is a pass up for me. Yeah. Um, All right. And we're, this is fun. Yeah, we're cranking it out now. We're doing good. Um, I'm going to go by the earliest because you guys that submit resumes that are early uh, are, are, are winners. Let's check on this one real quick. Also, every, pretty much everyone's sending via PDF, which is good too. It makes it easy to open. Well, Smuffle Dorf, you got to come back and like watch the whole VOD then. What do you say? Oh, he's, they had to leave and now he's back. Oh, yeah. This will be here. This will be on YouTube. Don't worry. So. All right. Comp Sci Andy. Okay. <laughs> Getting the meme in there. You got to get the nice. meme. Got to get the yeah, meme. Yeah, the Andy meme. The University of Papega. So okay, this that's one, that's not a real. This is that is not a university. Yeah, yeah um, I'm pretty sure. This is a little bit of a of a troll resume, and it's going to be harder for us to review it because you're not putting actual credentials on here. Um, well, he well, did. He I'm did, assuming it uh, really yeah. is a BSCS and so on. Like yeah, I'm, yeah, but there's a big difference between the University of uh, yeah, uh, well, of he, Harvard he, or he, Carnegie he's Mellon. Being, he's being and, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. he's just being really. Um, some of the other resumes, if we wanted to track down who it was, we probably could. Right? Well, yeah, I have, their, I have their full email. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, yeah. um, mm. people on the stream could because there's enough data you could probably figure it out from the jobs. This yeah. one would be harder. Um, all right. Thank, good... thank you, Attila. Yeah, our objective here is basically to run a stream that's like you never need to pay for a resume course because this is all you're going to need to be. And honestly, if you watch our first segment and this one, and that's going to be two videos on the YouTube channel, you're done. I don't think you need to know resume advice. This is it. Okay. Immigration, refugees, and citizenship. Cool. Um, that is cool. All right. Uh, no objective. Starts with education. I have no idea what he does or what he's applying for. I guess it's comp sci Andy. So I guess this is a computer science resume. But yeah, I, I, mean, I only know that because of information I wouldn't have on the actual resume. Well, yeah. His name's not really comp sci no, Unless his the, name is really comp sci Andy. No, no, yeah. no. But the, yeah. the BSCS is a big hint. Um, but you're right. Um, and... Uh, all right. So, let's so you see. started with projects. What do you think of that? Let's see, projects. Um, I think it's poor. Um, but why he's doing it is his work experience is not um, technical. In other words, that's what he's doing in college or whatever. Yeah. Because he's still in school. So he's working at this other place to work through school. Um, so, uh, and so the projects could be okay. You have to frame it, though, with your objective, um, which is going to be first full-time position in or whatever because you're not graduating until now mm -hmm. and so um what you're trying to the point of the projects you don't just want to say projects you want to say practical programming projects or, or something that tells me why you're doing it because the experience is in an unrelated field and so you have to get over the fact what he's trying to do with this resume, which I get, and it's hard when you're a new student, is you're trying to say, no, 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 I'm getting my degree, and I've actually done some real work on my own, and yes, I also worked in this other thing for Immigration Canada that shows I can hold a fucking job, and so that's the message. But we, we asked for a person who doesn't have any work experience, really, and, this, and, and we got it. So yeah. how could this person improve to yeah, actually so be I more? Yeah, so the objective mm. matters. Um, and then the grade point or honors or anything you can call out on the education, listing every class you've ever had is not interesting. Um, you have to count on the reputation of your university mm -hmm. to carry that, like listing everything you've done, not interesting, because I'm not reading any of it. I'm already like past it, and it just lost you precious seconds. Mm -hmm. um, coursework is included, it just doesn't matter. Um, and I know, again, you're early, you're trying to figure out what to put there. And that's why I would say uh, practical technical projects and list those. And I would give more of that space to the practical technical projects. Um, and by the way, I've mentioned this earlier in stream. I, I think it's November 25th. You can find it on www.easycoach.com with my schedule. Link it. Um, 
I'm going to have the head of Amazon campus recruiting on to talk about how they look at resumes mm -hmm. and how, how we select talent and at scale and big business. Um, but here I would want more on these projects. Um, uh, serving as sole developer. So serving as sole developer, uh, drop serving as sole developer four. Yeah. Yeah. Stronger. Um, Always less power is, words. Less is more. Less, less is, is more. more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just any framing words that make you seem less than that, serving as, served as, uh, you, you don't want that. Um, like served as lead animator slash artist, just lead animator slash artist and programmer for multiplayer battle arena game. Like that's stronger. That's yeah. stronger, mm -hmm. right? And now I want results. Yeah, exactly. Now, yes. That mm -hmm. said, as a geek resume, linking to the GitLab repo is a strong play because I'm not going to be the hiring manager, right? It's going to be another software engineer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're suckering a geek in to say, okay, I'm going to go look at your code because I'm actually, fuck your resume. Who cares? I'm going to see if you can code. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so that that's a strong move. Um, as a it doesn't go anywhere but yeah yeah yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but you get what's what's gonna happen that's a power yeah. move as yeah. a geek to say look just check my code yeah. it's there yeah um mm. and so that that can be a strong objective proof but you need the objective on this um yeah i don't know like yeah. uh for an intern the intern decision on this would get made and you're gonna hate to hear this on the name of the re on the name of the uh university it's going to get named like, oh, is it a good school? Because I don't have enough else to go on. Um, and then the interview, the interviewer is going to ask about the projects and maybe check the code. So it's not a great resume and in the information it provides. But if the university's solid, it probably gets an internship phone screen. And if it's Amazon, because we do most of it automated, if the university is reasonably solid, we're going to drop it into the automated pipe. Fair enough. Yeah. So. All right. That's this one. Copsi Andy. All right. Mr. Lee. He identifies himself as Brent. Um, here we go. All right. Uh, so starts graduating in the future. So starting with education is fine when you're graduating in the future because that's the most pressing thing. Yeah. It tells me right up front that at this point you've got to be looking for an internship because you're not graduating yet. All right. So it is okay. Like, it's I, like the, uh, I like the but... GPA too because he's pretty proud of it, the 3.6. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, don't put that on there if it's pretty low. Yeah, so, a graduate yeah. GPA of four is basically saying I'm killing it in my, in yeah. my master's. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. um, so I've already done work. I'm a defense contractor, one and two, a software engineer and co-ops. Um, I like the flow of this. I mean, um, I would, I would. Um, it's four bullet points per, uh, per option, right? The experience is pretty clearly stated. Actually, um, I almost wonder if this person was very similar to mine because I, I have, a, I have a very similar way that I structure my resumes. So the, uh, I like this. It's like very clearly consistent formatting. This is good. Um, develop software for an internal research and development effort to detect high frequency radio transitions and geolocate the source in free time. I'm guessing because this is the defense that they actually can't specify a lot of like what they did. Um, well, yeah, gen yeah. Generated interface block diagrams for the Aegis combat system, though, is like reasonably specific. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But it doesn't yeah. give away anything secret. Yeah, but it tells you you know your shit. Detailing yeah. the connection type and communication between equipment, pretty specific. Verified mm -hmm. ship change documents. So verifying documents isn't the strongest thing you could say, but look, it's a co-op, right? What's missing here a little bit is the techie part. Like, what did you build? Yeah. Um, uh, like compiling combat system equipment list. It doesn't, you're saying you're a software engineering co-op, but what I'm getting is you pushed paper, um, which, you know, it's a co-op and a defense contractor. That's probably sadly true. But uh, um, to make this stronger, like the second bullet in the first part, design the sensor controller. Great. What was hard about it? What was yeah. the tech you used? Give me just a little bit more on the CS part. Yep. But otherwise, like this one gets moved forward. Good grades, has actually had a couple practical co-ops. 
apparently has a publication name if that's real. Um, you know, it's, it's yeah. part of some paper. Yeah. Um, list their programming languages. The professional affiliations, I find kind of meh. Um, obviously. Well, it's interesting that they put ethnic minority. Ethnic minority yeah, student. That's yeah, that one's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm hmm. I think that's a that might be a, a, a key for like diversity initiatives. Yeah, like we talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we talked about that mm -hmm. like three hours ago now. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, though, this is good. Like, yeah, this, this resume it. would get the phone call yep, or that's... get get put in the hopper. I would move it forward. So there's two right there that have succeeded so far. Yeah. Um, there's there's two that have survived. All um, right. What do we, what do we got? What do you want to do? We got time for just a couple more. I'll have to bail soon. Okay. Um, we're just gonna keep going then. All right. Um, thank you for both going above the value you provide. Uh, attached is a copy of my redacted resume. Here is a link. Okay. It's from Bojack. Okay, Bojack. Holy. Oh, dude. So. Yeah, it, you don't want like half pages. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it, more I, I was, was going to say yeah, about this. More or yeah. less. You can, you can do. I, I, so I really don't like two page resumes, but like, uh, and like, you know, like Ethan can show an example of like where it's good, right? Here's my experience. Here's, here's my, all my, here's all my stuff. stuff. Yeah. Okay, good. And, and I can back it up, right? And I'm going to be really careful about how I do it. I feel like without even reading this, you can lower the amount of um, bullet points you have in order to fit this on the page. I really believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either more or less. It's pretty dense, so you can either spread it out and make it more readable uh, or um, uh, shorten it. So here's one that I, I want to call out right now. Um, also, competencies is spelled wrong. That is a that's a a critical mistake. You'll you'll be disqualified on this basis usually. Um, and so bad news, we geeks are going to get a pass on that. You're right, it sucks. But really, yeah, engineers are going to get a pass. One of the most interesting things that I didn't expect about this is how different an engineer or software person looks at a resume versus like someone like that doesn't review for because we don't care yeah. if you can like okay. Far too I, much of a generalization, but we don't care if he can spell. We care if he can code. I think that I, if a person no, can't be fucked to actually... Smacking an egg on your yeah, face yeah, in the first headline. Like, yeah, and like if, if a person can't so be fucked to... So that's a sign of how desperate the world is to hire software engineers. I guess so, yeah. Because any other mm -hmm. role, it would be over the shoulder and yeah. gone. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to decide based on the rest of the resume whether or not to overlook it. Okay. Um, um, more criticism... Advanced understanding of blockchain, cryptocurrency, Ethereum, smart contracts, Ansible, Terraform, Vagrant. This means nothing to me. I have no idea if you actually understand these things, right? You, 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 you've, done, you've done nothing yet to show me that you can understand these things. And this is one of the reasons that people put core competencies at the bottom and not at the top. Because here in your work experience, you say that you worked with a, block, a blockchain and cryptocurrency thing. So if you want to justify your advanced understanding, you need to put first why you're able to do that, right? Like, why, why do you understand blockchain really well? So I would put core competencies at the bottom. I don't like to put it at the top, especially since it looks the same as the rest of this shit. That's a it's big really, problem. Yeah, it's not, yeah. I, I, I literally mm. was like, oh, it's core competencies a company? Yeah, it's just, exactly. Yeah, because it, it's the format is just different. Again, if you look at like how Ethan like branches out his stuff, you just very clearly see the differentiation in the way he presents this, right? And again, he didn't, He's not like some fucking expert graphic designer, right? He literally pulled this template off of Microsoft Word. So what we're talking about is not hard to do. That's yeah. correct, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. like I, went the, I went the route of least possible friction because I'm like, oh shit, I promised to do this for the stream. I got to crank it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but it's just from seeing tens of thousands of them or 10,000 of them and knowing what's going to make stuff stand out. Yeah. This is too dense. It's, it's way too like, dense, yeah. I actually probably... So here's where geeks get a pass is people are going to wade through this because they need to fill software positions and they're going to like extract the value, right? Because RIT is a great school. He's got a, both a BS and an MS. Uh, they're going to try really hard to make this work. They're going to try really hard to make it yeah. work, but mm -hmm. you're like relying. So good for you. You've accomplished enough in your life. You're going to get a pass for having done it, but like done poorly because you're good at what you do, you have the education and the job experience. Because MITRE, 
uh, Miter and McLean, like it's a defense contractor. People in my world are going to recognize it. Um, you know, uh, so he's going to get a pass uh, because he's done work but at a at a valuable place. To, to he's going to get screened more. It doesn't mean he's going to get hired. To that note, we've still seen other people in these positions do it better by linking GitHubs, by linking references, by making it like apparent that they've done something and, like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's make like, it look like cleaner. Mm -hmm. I don't think the core competencies are adding a lot here. I agree. Yeah, that's uh, why I said put it at the bottom or not at all. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm with that. Because the competencies are not really competencies. They're like repeats of resume lines. Um, uh, and programming knowledge in is weak. Configuration of is weak. Um, they're not uh, advanced understanding of. Yeah, none of these are objective. Yeah, none of they're them not tell powerful. Me what you can, yeah. I just rather, at this mm -hmm. point, I just rather know what you've done yep. and I'll abstract it, which is the same thing you said. I'm just getting that conclusion slower. Mm -hmm. um, so... This is a case chat of where someone's education and the fact they're working at a known company doing something that's medium hard at least, and I'm not saying it's not incredibly hard, I just don't know yet, is gonna carry them, their experience is gonna carry them where their presentation failed. So if you clean up, the key though is if you clean up this presentation, it's gonna get you a better job at a better place. That's right, yeah. So you mm -hmm. can still get benefit from it. All right, let's move on. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is a rejection for me, but maybe it's a success success because I guess the world is just starving for software developers. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. there's an endless appetite, right? And yeah. and the schools like RIT aren't cranking out enough of them. Yeah. So, but you don't want to have to rely on that because the world can change. Um, the world can change, uh, you know, in a heartbeat, and and. Um, that stuff's not a guarantee later. True. Yeah. All right. Um, same thing, almost, as the last one. Yeah. Uh, very dense. Uh, I feel like this is a trend among uh, software developer people. Which, um, that's an important point. Yeah. Different resumes have different expectations. Yeah, that's true. Like, there are yeah. different memes or norms. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this one, uh, you know, this this fits sort of standard software engineer resume. It's got the tech skills. It's got what I call the acronym soup at the bottom. Yeah. Um, uh, or alphabet soup. Uh, what I wish I saw here was job level. Um, in Can other you, words, what do you mean? Is, is there any progression? Software oh. engineer one, senior software engineer. Oh, yeah. Like this mm. looks very, what I get from this, it's a little scary, is I haven't moved forward my in career six between, years. between yeah. 2013 and now. Mm -hmm. So that's a little scary. Um, uh, it is one page, which you like, so it's dense. Um, it doesn't no have to be. No, I got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, no, but because they have a lot to say, it's dense. Yeah. Um, uh, definitely, like, the the... Am I correct that the bullets are not aligned top to bottom? Is that true? Like the tabs are off? Yes. Yeah. yeah so that's mm -hmm. a little like, ow. Yeah. Um, uh, designing an So let's read bullet one. Designing and implementing a material requirements planning system in Java plus TypeScript using Spring plus Angular uh, in a team of seven that schedules the company's resources across all seven U.S. locations. So there's a lot in there. There's a lot of facts in there. It's a little bit of a run-on sentence. Like, it's it's too much for me to hold my head. The other thing that's a, a fail, four successive bullets, say, designing and implementing, give, oh, me, some, yeah. give me yeah. some linguistic variety. Mm -hmm. Like, I get that you're designing and implementing. It's actually so many. But design make, and implement, design and implement. Yeah, design. <laughs> like give, give me a little bit yeah. of variety. Uh, uh, about what you did. Yeah. Um, this is another one where the candidate is probably good and because software engineers get calls because it's a hot skill, probably gets a call from people. Yeah. Um, but better presentation will get you, you know, it's all percentages. What I mean by that is if you apply to 10 jobs, maybe six out of 10 people are like, well, yeah, probably. But if it were cleanly presented, you get to 10 of 10 cleanly and strongly. Yeah. And mm. maybe you only get two of 10 and it moves you to six of 10. And then you have better options to do what you want and you get, um, uh, 
You'll notice, by the way, people in chat are bitching about the stuff that's old. They're like, oh, your 2009 internship isn't relevant. So this is interesting. You're probably right, or you might be right, unless there was something strong to call out there. But the decision on whether or not to move forward is being made on the top of the resume. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you go to my resume, um, people are going to make the decision on the first couple blocks. Everything else there is if they want to know more. They're going to decide in those first half page, good or not, yeah. fit or not. And then if they, like once they're like, oh, probably a fit, they may take a quick scroll through. Mm -hmm. But no one, like there's no one uh, who's like reading, re I'm undecided, I'm undecided. Yeah, they're I'm on undecided. the fence and then they oh, see. Oh, hey, he founded a coaching thing, yeah. I'm in. Or, yeah, oh, yeah. he used mm -hmm. to do stuff in startups, I'm in. This is all confirmation. Uh, people are making their decision in the first one to two paragraphs. So, uh, yeah, right. LA Cozy, because I like the ski they're in. So yeah. not true. They're making the decision up top. Yep. So go, let's do one more. All right. And then we should like wind up because we'll have done, even with the late start, we'll have done four and a half hours. Okay, I'm going to find a really yeah, bad get, one. Get, do you like this one? No, not unless we want to bust on somebody again. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, this is somebody who's not English in the first language. Let's, let's think pass. So? Let's take somebody else. Okay. Well, yeah, they said uh, curriculum vitae too, so they're 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 non-U.S. Uh, so standard. Want to find a fun one? Yeah. Oh, there you go. This that one will do. Ooh. What's this? You want they, this they one? They have a second page they didn't Let's cut. Let's do this one. Yeah, this okay. will be fun. All right. Oh, it's a doc X. Okay, I can't even pull it up in the right format because it's. I'd have to open this in Google Docs, which is a huge pain in my ass. All right, eyes. skip. Um, Sorry. Wait. Uh, edit with Google Docs. Let me try real quick. Um, we're hopeful. Loading, yeah, loading. otherwise we're out of here. Oh, there it um, is. All okay. right, show it. So this one. All right, the format's getting killed. Like, presumably the WS is supposed to be in the circle or whatever, but. Yeah. Sales it, advisor at Microsoft. All right, well, we have we, the guy's name's on it, too. It's not redacted. Yeah, yeah. All right, All right. pass. Error passing it. So, sorry, Billy. Um, you know, good yeah. luck, though. Um, let's see. We're looking for a good, interesting one. Basic. Uh, uh. <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's a lot Let's of see. That's a lot of. It's a coding resume, but yeah, it's like we've done a like, lot of geek resumes. We, well, we've also done like like these eighty bullet point resumes. Like I'm so tired of it. Um, okay, this could work. <laughs> <laughs> you want this one? There's so little there. Yeah. Well, Plus, this person at Bellevue College. So for two hours, they might drive here and be mad. Okay. <laughs> like we need we need to get to a minimum safe distance. <laughs> So if you're the person who submitted your resume from Bellevue College, we're sorry. It's very bad, but um, we, we don't want to say any more because uh, you might find us. Another geek resume. Too many geeks in the stream, dude. Um, another geek resume. Is that another? Is that it is. more code, yeah. too? Computer science. Computer science. Man, I love all you computer... Go see us. We rule the world. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Alexander last name we gets the one. vote. We got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. All right bring it out. It's not Pull it out. either. Yeah, okay. All right, this here is, we go. This is good. All right, Alexander, what do you got? Look at this sophisticated gentleman. Yeah, that's... Look, you want to hire that guy? He has a sense of fashion. He's standing up straight. Straight, The good short posture. hair, the haircut, the, the, slight, the red pops. The slight confidence. No, the red pops. I'm in it. I, I, I don't... I'm not even gonna hire this guy. I'm gonna hire this guy so that I can work for him, dude. That's what that this that this dude is. If you are gonna yeah. do a picture, yeah, I, I knew this was gonna of, come up. Another white dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Actually, uh, get fucked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like that's so dumb. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Mm. Um. All right. Let's actually read it though. Mm. I'm first year's master's student. Okay. Great. I'm driven. Great. You don't tell us what you want to do, Alexander. So you're killing it on like you've got our attention, but now we don't know what you want. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Hi. May, I'm a driven and passionate about marketing and brand management. All right. Period. Okay. Yeah. I didn't read far enough. Yeah. Um, well, okay. well the, the first is the introduction. I'm a, I'm a first year master's yeah. student at the Norwegian School of Economics, majoring in business analytics. Okay, great. I'm driven um, and passionate. I'm driven and passionate about marketing and brand management. Okay, now and I know what he wants to do. And your resume says that all over with your picture and your presentation. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, experience within analytical programs like R and Ample, marketing tools like Google Analytics, Google AdSense, and Facebook ads. Great. So I immediately, I, I'm very curious what that experience is. And if, and if you said ran ads with, Google AdSense and Facebook ads, I'd, I'd immediately be extremely interested. Like, this is this is a go. Um, phone number, okay. Hobbies, okay. that's cool. Yeah. Proudest hike being Mike Fuji. He's a hiker like yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mount Fuji, mm -hmm. it's the most climbed mountain over 10,000 feet in the mm -hmm. world. Currently, so it's, it's, a, it's a solid thing. Currently studying Japanese. So he's, yeah, a, he's, he's got a, an exchange. He's been to, he spent an exchange, uh, which, is, which is good. Like a student is, you know, getting out and willing, and, Willing to go to a very different culture than than Norwegian oh, I'm culture. So, I'm so glad we did this one because, like, for all the people in chat, and I know there's a lot of you that are asking, um, "What do I do with no work experience?" This, this, th this is what you do. Yeah, this is what th you do. This dude didn't really do anything. Like, he's looking for a job in, in marketing and brand management, but he's been a carpenter. Like. You know what? Like, yeah, and he's, yeah. He's, like he he, he, it, he balances. The, what is the Norwegian currency? Any of us know? Is it Kronos? Chat. What's the Norwegian currency? So, Kronos is going to be Swedish. Uh, pesos? <laughs> no. The Krona. Okay. Yeah. So, here's yeah. the point. Yeah. He's balancing their budget of like four Krona, right? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's a fucking student organization. Yeah. They've got like four Krona to their name. Yeah. But he's making it sound good. Mm -hmm. Responsible for our four Krona. Tasked with finalizing the annual accounts of three student organizations. Okay, yeah. we have four krona apiece. So he's managing 12 krona. <laughs> exactly. But he's, yeah. he's making <laughs> But it makes it sound making substantial. It sound like something. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And yeah. it, it's not, by the way, like, it's just because student organizations don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. Yeah. But he's making it sound good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Major within marketing ended with a 4.1 right, GPA. So there is a fail we got to pick on. Okay. But it's really good. Read that. Read what he did as a carpenter. Hired as carpenter after completing apprenticeships with Leave Four. Yeah. So it, that's a big mistake. For like, what? <laughs> but I yeah. got it. Yeah. Uh, still, mm -hmm. if you have no experience, this is pretty good. Yep. Like this yeah. is this is how you do it. And you're, yeah. You're, Make your stuff you did in school sound big, like Ethan just said, and then show off what you've done. High GPA, master's in economics and business. Or right. travel, yeah. learning languages. Yes. This yeah, is the you're way interesting. Because... You're, you watch anime. You're, you're, you're confident. This is a guy that I, I, I this is a guy By that way, I feel also, like. By the way, also, the photo works in this gentleman's favor. Either he spent 10 years doing nothing somewhere and getting away with it, or he's made himself look much older than you would yeah. expect of a student. Yeah. And so, uh, I know if this guy. Right. It, it's really simple. If you're old like me, you want to look young, and if you're young, you want to look old. And we can all say, "Oh, that shouldn't matter," but it's still it true. It does. Yeah. Um, and this guy is nailing it, looking old. Yeah. Old and, and enough. Like, I fully mature. expect this guy, since he literally has such a focus on Japanese and like his focus on Japanese, to pull out a katana and come after me because if I if I don't. Oh my wash Shindra, like that meme, whatever, like it, like if I don't hire him. So I think that this dude um, would a hundred percent. Now there's one thing, right? Is what is this guy looking for? Yeah, that is something that I can't he's see. Passionate about yeah. marketing and brand management, but he, I don't know and it, if so he's he, looking for an internship. He's a fuck. He's yeah, fucking in. Yeah. If you're looking for the head of marketing direction for my company, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can't no, overreach. No, no. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there a chance to look at an esports resume? I don't know. Do we have an esports? Uh, we Probably did, not. but it wasn't that. It wasn't like not that great. All no, right. this is like somebody wants it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, guys, the actual, um, the actual, like type of job it is uh, matters a lot less than like the presentation. There's enough to pull from in this what we've done uh, to uh, to um, really get, I think, everything you need out of building a resume. Yeah. Yep. But I can do that. I, I've also done a I've done a YouTube too with um, an esports resume in the past too. Well, we should wrap up. Yeah. yeah. So so like TLDR, I, this is a this is a go. This is, yeah. yeah. This yeah. one's get a call. I mean, um, yes, mm -hmm. you want a little more meat on it, yeah. like you want uh, mm -hmm. the objective and stuff. 
Uh, and we're not telling everybody that beauty is the only way, but uh, this is well presented. Yeah, and if you are, by the way, doing brand and marketing, it's got to be good. All right, let's let off the bomb, man. It's time to it's time to let off the community gift chest. Yes, Yama Killer just hosted us with 400 people, so thank you very much. Also, that is insane. Um, Yama, you need to send me an email about your broadcast. Let's talk um, because he started from zero. Um, and was uh, and was listening to my show. He said, right. uh, and he now has four hundred people. I'm very curious. As wow, to how he's that's done amazing. That. It is very amazing. Uh, yeah, and welcome um, in. Unfortunately, we're ending this. We're we're just about over. But yeah, the vod is killer. The vod is really good. Yes, and we're we're mere seconds from letting off the community gift chest. Yes, of the many hundreds <laughs> of team fight tactics. Uh, twin eggs. So yeah. if you're a Prime member, number one, you need to sub. Five Here subs. come the gifts. Let's go, my man. There it status is. Status quo. Thank you, dude. Yeah, status That's quo. Awesome. Nailed it. Uh, but everyone who hasn't contributed who's a Prime member... To the gifts, get after it. You've got the dude that invented Twitch Prime right here. Okay? And, and the so, dude who pushed for gifts. Pushed for this. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so overall themes that we've seen with these, I think. Overall themes with resumes? I think it's two things. Okay. Yeah. One, objective statements. Yep. Two, uh, not too dense data. Like, what People did you do? People are skimming. Yeah. People are skimming. Oh, there J21, come the gifts. We have 50 J gifted subs in the last five seconds, man. Wow. J21, thank you, dude. Clap it up. Thank you so much. Rocking it. Yeah. I'm glad you guys got something out of this stream. Really appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you very much. All right. So, so uh, we, we're we killing it on gifts. We're about to do the big gift chest. Yes. Um, shameless self-promotion. I'm the easy coach. I need you to mm -hmm. come over. Follow me. Twitch.tv slash the easy coach. Yeah. Middle initial is Z, so the easy coach, mm -hmm. Ethan Z. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be live uh, Monday night doing something Devin's interested in. I'm going to do urgent versus important, the four block matrix. I love matrix. that. Yeah, I'll be there for that. 100%. Make good use of yeah. your time. Mm -hmm. um, all my stuff's on YouTube. I do about 90 minutes of content a week. Mm -hmm. So you can find it as the easy coach on YouTube also. Um, if you're new to this stream also, you can also go to my Discord, discord.g slash Devin, and I always post an announcement of when he's live there too. Yeah, so if you miss it everywhere that's else. That's our bromance. That's the bromance, man. That's right. Yeah, that's I, right. I, would, I would announce Devin's streams, but they're every day. Yeah, so just yeah. find him every day. Yeah, just, just, just show up. They start sometime Five between, well, anyway. We 9 a.m. PST every day, every never day, late. Never late. Never late. Hashtag never yeah. late. Yeah. Um, God, this is so much fun. It was, it was too a bad I show. have to work. This is like so right? much I know. Fun, yeah, right? you have like a job doing something. Uh, what do you do? Something oh, in downtown, what do I do? Something uh, yeah, in downtown yeah. Seattle. I yeah. do this stuff in downtown Seattle. Yeah. It's true. But my resume is on screen. So honestly, if people <laughs> can't figure out what I do, they're like, what is less than one head? What is less than zero heads? Is well, you can, you can go into negative heads, into but negative. that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. You start to create a feedback loop that destroys the universe. Well, with my yeah. resume on screen, mm -hmm. if they don't know what I do, it's, you know, if I have to introduce what I do, it's True. sad. Yeah. Yes. This is what Ethan Evans does. <laughs> yeah, all right. yeah. All right. Um, that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're good. good. We're good. Oh, look, right. that, look at that. Yeah, that's the connection. insane. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so that's it, dudes. Um, we hope that you got a lot out of this. Thank you so much for coming out for this show. Um, like we had, uh, this was one of our best shows. Yeah, this really was won. totally fun. It Plus, was good. Tea. Yeah. Really good tea. Good tea. Yeah. I, I, I'm becoming a green tea convert. There's man. no question. Man. There's I, no we, question. We bought, uh, I bought some very special green tea for this occasion. And so then, yeah. Dick Pringles here wants to say he did not get his GD TFT thingy. Mm -hmm. Then join Prime and you can give some away and That's you'll right. get one of your You own. can have one yourself. I see that crown right there. You, uh, he already has Prime, right? He already right? has it. Yeah. I, yeah, the reason you didn't get it, you already he's got like it. The, he's like the guy. Calling. He's the guy All on the right. airplane that like like the like he just learned that there's wireless internet on it and then like it, it goes out and he's like this is bullshit like you know he, he's angry about something he didn't even have no, that he yeah. already has yeah. yeah all right all right we're done we're we had good. a lot of fun guys thank you for coming out for the stream and i will see you guys again on monday that's when all next be back here covering topics so and me too monday at 6 p.m monday at 6 p.m twitch.tv slash the easy coach absolutely check that out come back for our best streams yet thank you guys very much we love you all and we will see you guys again next time. Hey, hey, hey.